<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence attempts to stream Factorio and um, is still having some internet issues so I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah I'll see what I can do. I mean at the moment I'm not 100% sure what's happening because uh, one of the one thing is showing me that it's streaming properly and it's got got stuff appearing and it looks looks all all looks good but twitch itself is just showing me a spinning wheel of doom and no bitrate information and lots of other issues besides so um if you can hear me um please let me know because otherwise i'm never going to know that whether this is working or not oh dear <clears throat> so yes my internet problems from last week are still occurring it seems which is um extremely frustrating I'm not really sure what, exactly what I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to have to sort of give it a go. Oh, okay, right. It, okay, so um, I've been told that it is working. Right, so let's let's ignore ignore um, what I can't see on the uh, in in the Twitch window itself, and actually just start and just get started on this. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is flit over to the other side of the map. I talked about this in the uh, the video that came out at the weekend. So my my system that's dealing with all of the memory cards over in the science area doesn't work anymore because I was a bit short-sighted when I set it up. There were a couple of things I didn't didn't realise were going to happen as I was hoping they would, um, and yeah, so I'm going to have to come in here and hit it with a spanner a couple of times until it until it behaves itself. So, yes, if we have a look here, you can see this belt is clogged up and this belt is clogged up, um, and that is because there's a disposal chute down here that takes the um takes the duff belts away all the way down all down here uh zooming back in again <clears throat> and then here is supposed to split them out but because it's sending the broken ones this way as well eventually this clogged up along here and has just stopped working so what i need to do here is come a little bit further down if I pick up that and that and then tell this one to actually filter out those but put them to the other side um, and then pick them up I guess and then do that and that right so that's sorted out that means that from at this point it's now all fixed so things will go to the correct places but I still need to come across here and pick up all the broke and stop falling falling stop falling off the world Right, stop here. Right, there we go. And just pick up all of these as they come through until things sort of settle down a bit. Now there's lots and lots, there's lots and lots of these uh, memory cards to come through. Yep, there's still a broken one coming through there. So I need to wait for the wait for all of these to come through and grab them all up and then go off and deliver them to the right place. Now, as you can see, they're now flowing here as well. So we've got the broken ones and the unformatted ones going through here. Uh, yoink, take that as well. And those are going down all the way down here to this recycling station. Uh, so I can now come along here and I can put all of these duff, all of these junk data cards in and unformatted data cards in here. And that will now basically work. <clears throat> now, it was pointed out to me in the in the comments on the video that this could theoretically fail. It probably won't, because if you look at the proportions are coming through in the vast majority of the grey unformatted data cards. But if we were for some reason to get through a lot an enormous number of broken data cards this could jam up and fail so what i'm going to do is put in an arithmetic combinator fire if i've got any which i haven't um one of these it's going to take a moment to build now i'm going to tell that to multiply the number of um broken data cards by one uh broken data cards times one and output it as junk data cards. <clears throat> um, no, if, as long as the, the, these, these things are as big, each one of these crates is as big as a train. So unless um, I get more than five sixths of, of what's coming through being the broken data cards, then it's going to carry on working. Um, however, what I've done here, when I now uh, link this in like so is going to multiply is going to add in those 15 junk data cards onto the 2200 uh, data cards that are in need of reformatting and that will mean that it'll count them all towards the same number and then summon this train whenever there's a train's worth of stuff in total basically uh probably 
Oh, but then this breaks. Ah, is this what we're talking about? This is this what you meant? Um. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's a good point. Um. I guess that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, two thousand. Yeah. Okay. So I need to. I need to get this to be asking for it at lower. Hmm. So I've got the forty stack provide threshold there. Um, hmm, that's a tricky one. I hadn't thought of this as being a problem. I hadn't thought that this would be a problem, rather. Um, what if I go over... So it's it's over here. H where is it? It's over here somewhere, just requesting them. Right, so in here. Um, no, here. There we go. Can I um, change the numbers here? Right, that's okay. No, I can't. That's saying request if if less than if a thousand. Oh, that one maybe because that matches. Let's try. Well, if I change if I change that to one thousand, will that mean in the future it'll only want a thousand of those and therefore it'll be okay? I'm not sure. But let's send this train off and come back and have a look at it later. Um. Yeah, so this may or may, I may or may not have just booted the problem a little bit further down the line. We shall find out. Right, so that's one thing maybe fixed. I'll um, cross it out very, very gently because <laughs> that might not be fixed. So, no, the Naquifier 2 ship is not fixed. Um, provide 30... Oh, yeah, that would need to be 30 stacks. Well, maybe 20 stacks. Um, okay, that's that's okay. Um, that's this this one where it's unloading the broken cards. That's that's acceptable. Um, when you say disable 10 slots, what do you mean? I, I think you, this 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 is um, higher levels of um, of LTN cleverness than I than I'm um, familiar with, unfortunately. While well, we're waiting for that. Let's have a look at the Naquify 2, which is going to still be broken um, because reasons. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, so there was a suggestion last time that it was because I don't don't have any target speed set here. Now, this should, when it takes off, these should set the target speeds to 50,000. Um, there isn't a thing setting it constantly, which is a perhaps a mistake. Um, but what if I come in here and put in... that in like that that might now fix it let's let's see if it does because we'll see if it see if it successfully leaves the other end uh, so we won't actually know if that has solved the problem for about half an hour but we'll find out then um so you're saying presumably in here i can set another signal um Oh, locked slots per wagon. So I'll set that to 10. Right, okay. Maybe. Well, um, that, that's, that certainly seems a little... Um, it feels like I've done something to solve the problem. Therefore, um, it's, it's better than the way it was before. So it's an Aquifier 2, not engaging engines, hopefully fixed. Now, carrying on with all the little things that are broken... Is it worth trying to fix this? So I need to get from there to... Th I need to get some fuel from there to there. Now, that's going to be a fair chunk of, of belt. Um, how much belt do I actually have available? Yeah, I see what you mean about the hacky. Yeah, but I think that's probably going to be sufficient for this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But it's, it's out, it feels op it feels optimistic, promising and optimistic. So I'll... Um, We'll see what happens as we, as we get that going. Right, so let's pull that out, pull that out, pull all of that up. Vulcanite ore is, is it? I don't, th I'm not sure. I know Vulcanite cubes are definitely flammable and can be used as fuel. I don't know about the ore. So I'm going to use the fuel, the, the cubes, because I know they definitely work. And I can pull up all of this belt as well, because I'm not using any of it anymore. 
Right, so the first thing is here. Let's pull that up and replace it with blue belts because I know I've got some blue belts here and I, so I might as well just put them in. Oops, like that. Then I need to get all the way to here. This is about the nearest point I can go to, I think. Oh, actually, oh, come to think of it, better idea. I think I've got a, I think I have a large number of underground blue belts here available. So let's do this. Now the other question, oh yeah, I do have, I do have RoboPort coverage down here. Okay, that's all right. I was worried, I was worried for a moment that that wasn't going to make it. And I might as well extend that as far as I possibly can. Okay, let's see how much of that gets implemented. And hopefully this will all work without me having to um, fly over here and do it all myself. Now we'll only have one locomotive doing the pushing here. Um, okay, so I could have brought this around, but oh well. Let's find out if I've got enough. I think I pulled up a a reasonable chunk of the um of, of blue belt but i think that might might be set telling me i've not now i've not got enough okay so we need, we'll need some yellow belts as well um <laughs> so put a piece of it there oh okay we've run out of underground belt as well, un underground blues as well that's a shame i guess i'll have to do this as well Did I pull up this much yellow belt? I guess we'll find out. So far, it's promising, but well, we'll 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 we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. If not, I mean, there's plenty more I can pull up. I just haven't yet. So yeah. Oh, have I? Oh no, I've run out of blue undergrounds for that bit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Typical. Right. Okay. So that's going to have to be a yellow underground. Um, and we can pull some of that up from over, more of this up from over here if we need to. Uh, so I can take up that and that, and that's definitely enough for that. That's yeah, that's that's going to be plenty. I've also got this crazy, crazy long belt that just goes off to basically nowhere that I don't care about anymore. Um, but you know, I don't have any RoboPort coverage up there, so we'll just do, we'll just do this bit. And now that should be sorted. <clears throat> the station fuel supply is fixed. That's more than enough um, um, vulcanite to fill this up, I reckon. So let's let that go. And I'm going to fill this train up completely, or at least I'm going to put all of this in there because this needs to have enough fuel to go off to Vulca a vulcanite pickup station and then all the way to the vulcanite drop station where it can then be loaded in the correct way. I should have used a stack inserter there. Oh, well. Right, so that's more more or less fixed. So that's uh, three of the um, miscellaneous crappy things I needed to deal with. While that's finishing off, somebody said um, oh, another. There's another comment on the video that said in, in gear often I need to program some inserts over here to make sure they're only doing copper ore. And good, I was pretty sure I had already done that, um, and I have. So this will never this will never jam up because we're all, we can always load whatever into here, and then there's one at least one inserter doing each of the things that's being loaded into the train. Um, why the spaceship hasn't arrived here yet, I'm not quite sure. Let's see if we can find that. Um, uh, gear off. Uh, where's where's Norv? Oh, here's Norvis. Okay, so either either it's broken horribly or it's just in the process of running around and working. So there's no ship parked here. What about in Norvis orbit? Because there's often a bit of a traffic jam here. Um. Yeah, so I suspect this one is probably the one that goes out to gear often and is currently refueling. Um, yes, gear often core. And yeah, it's just fuel, fueling up as normal. It was just we're a, we're a bit short of fuel, as has been previously mentioned. We're doing our best here, but it's still taking a little while for the fuel to flow back around again because this all ran out earlier because um, the ships weren't taking off quickly enough. And in fact, what's this one down to? 
Um, I don't know. Uh, what am I looking for? This one. Uh, less than 15k. Input signal is 70, so still 71,000 fuel tucked away in this ship somewhere. And that seems like a lot, to be, a lot to be throwing away. So I'm going to leave that there a bit there, a bit longer to uh, to unload. And let's see if we look in orbit. Oh, the gear off and core has just left. That's convenient. But the ship that's coming up from Asalia doesn't seem to be full either. So I'm not actually bothered about that one just sitting there for now because the next one hasn't arrived yet. So whilst having them flying a bit flying a bit faster would mean I get a bit more throughput, it's not actually getting in the way yet. Okay, back to Miokin. Right, so the train's full. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of that. But also, let's do let's do this and this, and just because I'd rather than rather than having the bots pick all this fuel up and just lose it, well I say lose it, just put dump dump it into the robot port system. Um, I'm going to just put it onto this locomotive instead, so it gets used up. That is if the bots ever bother to come over and build what I just told them to do. You'd think they'd have the sense to pick it up from... Well, I know why they didn't pick it up from here and take it straight down there. It's because they didn't have that command in, in time, but uh, or that instruction in time. But, um, you know, still a little bit frustrating. Hey, Solren. Yeah, probably. Um, my, I'm still having internet issues. I called up my ISP and they said, oh, we've set some um, diagnostic stuff running on your, on your router. Uh, call us back on Saturday if it's still not working. So... Yeah, um, possibly some progress has been made, but in actuality, who knows? I guess we'll find out in whenever, depending on how lucky I am. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sh still pretty sure it's nothing in inside my house. They sent an engineer over, he replaced the router. It made absolutely no difference at all, as you'd expect, given that it's clearly a problem with their network, not mine. Um, so yeah i've basically exchanged a slow but reliable connection for a fast and unreliable connection um which is perhaps not the best of ideas really um and i should have just stuck with what i had i mean the the connection was abs the new connection was absolutely great for the first week but then now it's just it's just a bit being a bit crap so yeah joy oh well um no, we've, and we've completely run out of uh, vulcanite up here. Oh, it was just enough to fill the ship up, though. That's convenient. But yeah, we completely run out because the train had stalled for so long. Anyway, that is the um, the Miokin fix fixed properly. So the station fuel supply is now running again because I put in that little loop there. Um, it's all being brought down happily. There's <laughs> some wasted underground belts going through rocks here. I could have maybe I should have. Um, retrieved retrieved those but yeah never mind so anyway that one is well and truly fixed that that one is a fix that is definitely definitely sorted and i'm happy with that um this one is probably going to work now we'll we we shall see um as as the um these data cards trickle through we'll just gradually fill up over here and they'll probably get taken away and if they don't then we'll worry about it then um the white good data cards that to be recycled seem to be flowing through here properly none of the wrong ones have got into the uh, into the chest there because i've got filter inserters so i think this is probably all okay uh deep space science is it was being made very gradually because we've run out of naquium that's i'm not going to say expected but sort of inevitable because naquium is is a diff is a, is a difficulty at the moment um what's going on over oh it's over here Right, so we are waiting for one of my long-range ships to arrive here and unload a massive quantity of um, Naquium. So where are they? Nope, not in this system. All right, there they both are on their way over. So they're <laughs> it's there's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be one of those you wait ages for a bus and two come along at once things. But at least we're gonna have a decent quantity of Naquium arriving in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the in about eight, eight and a half minutes. Okay. I guess the next thing to think about then is the oil supply, because that is being a serious problem um, in the deep space science production area, because I can't produce enough, um, I can't produce enough uh, chemical gel in order to make the 
um, plasma streams that I need for it because I've run out of crude oil because I've run out of um, basically run out of the uh, what do you call it the um, what do you call it uh, oh yeah the methane ice that I was using so at the moment <clears throat> we're digging methane ice up over here and it's going into the station and then it's being brought over and melted and turned into and then turned into crude oil um, but there's only like 160,000 of it left here and that means there's only one to have five mining drills going and that just ain't enough so my cunning cunning plan is to build another spaceship because that's always a good plan um, and that spaceship is going to fly off to um, Asalia and bring back large quantities of oil so let's see uh, let's pick up all of these first right so what I want to do is ooh, uh, what I want to do first is see if I have um, RoboPort coverage over here because I want that to build my spaceships and I do that's convenient good I'm not sure it's covering a big enough area though so let's put down uh, let's gain control of the game right let's put down another RoboPort um, hit hmm, here I need a bit more of this. All right, that'll give me a little bit more RoboPort coverage, basically this whole area, which is where I'm going to try and build a ship. So let's see. I'm going to build this from scratch because I now have plenty of um, available. I've, I can make the ships really, really big, and my previous ships have all had some problems of one kind or another so let's see let's start off with a decent chunk of spaceship floor uh, like where's my number pad where is my number pad there's my number pad and let's start off with a reasonably chunky spaceship so we'll start off with about that much um, and I'll need to make it a bit pointy at the front because otherwise you get all those um, penalties to speed I wonder if I've made it an even, an odd number or an even number wide. I didn't actually check. Oh, not an even number. Okay, that's fine. I don't really mind. So I may end up making this a lot wider or a lot narrower. It's, it's also this design is still very, very much in the air. Um, but once once the bots are put down, the sort of the the first decent chunk of this uh, of this flooring I can then start putting in um, putting in all the bits and pieces I want so the the problem with transporting oil around is that it's um, it don't it won't go in the really really big fuel tanks so we've got two types of tanks at the moment um, that I'm I can I can use for stuff there's these ones the rocket fuel booster rocket booster tanks and these have a capacity of a hundred thousand which is great you can fit loads so you can fit loads and loads of rocket fuel in those but you can't put anything else in them we've also got these normal storage tanks which you can fit 25 th 25 thousand in they're the same size amusingly um but only a, a quarter of the capacity um and so those are the ones i'm going to have to use for oil uh so over here we're going to have um let's see there'll be a, a pipe so there'll be a wall then a pipe then tanks like this oops and then I'll want to make my entire ship two squares wider one two three four five six so that's 150,000 yeah that's that's probably a decent amount so let's make the entire thing I said two squares wider didn't I no not that um Try that again, but with the right stuff this time. So, uh, is that too, yes, that's too wide. Yeah, like that. Okay. Um, and then this again, but rotated. So that it goes like that. And then and then when the bots come along here, I'm going to put in these on the other side as well for load. Actually, I suppose you don't. I don't need to have it load and unload on opposite sides um, because it's just fluids. But let's let's do that anyway, just for just in case. 
And I don't know, how much of this should I take up with fuel? That's the question. That's probably a good start. Let's let's do that for now. Then, well, we're, we're going to run off rocket fuel for this one because we might as well because it's going to be full of rocket stuff. Hey, Craig, welcome to the stream. This is uh, this is Factorio Space Exploration, and um, I am currently trying to build a spaceship. So, yeah, um, I've discovered I've got a massive shortage of uh, rocket fuel. Oh, uh, the I'm no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let it trickle through slowly, and um, or actually, I might put a th things across the top to put pump, push it across. But basically, I'm just going to let it flow through slowly because I can't be bothered with any of that. <laughs> um, how far into these have to be? Blimey. So let's put in a load of rocket uh, tanks across, rocket boosters across here, and of course there. I feel like I should make this symmetrical, <laughs> and I've, and these are uh, yeah, oh that that'll do. Uh, pipe across the back, and then a fueling fuel input. Actually, no, the fuel input will be on the other side, like so. Yeah, this is a um, it's, this is one of the uh, the more popular um, mod, well the one of the bigger and better thought of mod packs. It's uh, basically it's after you leave um, after you manage to build your rocket and leave Norvis, you can then start you then start doing more science in space. So I've been working on um, this is my this is my space station. Uh, you go off to different planets to gather different sort of types of exotic metals and things, and then up here you can then do various different types of new sciences. So here I'm building um, energy science packs up with these supercomputers. I've got astronomic science down here with lots of telescopes and things. Uh, I've got um, bio material science over here where you do stuff like um, building up ammunition and then shooting things. Um, and then biological science and deep space science, which is the current one I'm sort of working towards. Um, but, for, but at the moment, I have, a, I have an oil supply problem. So I'm trying to build up a ship here that will carry lots and lots of oil from my oily moon here this is another this is one of the moons I've explored where there's loads and loads of oil patches and I've got a system up here that's turning all of that into rocket fuel and I'm also going to start pulling oil out of here as well and bringing it up to space so yes it's an expand it's a huge expansion but a but a but an ex excellent one of uh, one of the best best ones uh, that I'm available yeah one of the best ones that I've played in fact probably the best one I've played so yeah can definitely recommend if you find if you uh, find yourself in need of a little bit more factorio in your life uh, let's see. Let's put in. Let's just put in five of five. Let's remove. Let's remove those, and those. Let's put in um, a full six of these booster tanks across the back because I don't know how much fuel I'm going to need, and I think I've got plenty of space in this ship. Like that. So we've got basically the same number of those as we have these, and we're going to load them up in exactly the same way through the, through the uh, pipe there. Then I'm going to need a spaceship control systems. Where are they? There we go. Um, one of these. Put it in there. <clears throat> I'm going to need some lasers up the front. Oh, maybe some shields up at the front as well. Let's put some shields in. Um, shields? There, that one. If I put one there. I fit it in there? I'm not sure. Let's put the wall in first, and then I'll know if I've um, I'll know if I've got enough enough room to put the to put the shields in quite exactly where I want to. Across there and down the side. I suppose I should probably put a door in as well, just because it's traditional and expected, so, so, so that I can get I can get in and out of it. But it's uh, that's low on the priority list. There we go. Uh, okay, so the shields—that was the thing I was thinking of. Okay, so I can put one in at oh come on, that that angle there, and similarly like that, and then like that i suppose pointing forward because those two aren't going to overlap up no not not even slightly but between them all three of them they do we do have overlap and then i can put a few laser turrets in at the top to um try and minimize my shield the amount of shield i need to use like that okay so we're going to need power for all of this stuff as well 
Uh, that means one of the, uh, the let's just shove in one of the massive pylon substations because why not? I'll just cover the whole ship in one go. Um, and then down here we're going to need some some sort of setup for uh, controlling the ship. Now this is going to be the the usual sort of system where I tell it to um, where I use a load of the decider combinators to say if you're on so this is going to be if you're on a sailor and you've got fuel and, and and you've got enough oil and you've got enough fuel then take off and alternatively if you're on if you're in Nor Norvis orbit and you've got rid of all of the oil then then leave okay so that should be that should be correct I uh, need a couple of these oh wait no I need an extra one of those to, to do the actual uh, math no do, do, do the actual outputs um, so what was I saying if you're on I don't know what a sailor is uh, one moment nope not that one not that one either that one a sailor is do, 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 moon 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 1134 uh, go away no that one yes so if you're on moon Um, 11:34. Then output a tick as usual. If you're, if you have lots and lots of rocket fuel, uh, which doesn't go in here, it goes in here. Rocket fuel, rocket fuel. If you've got one, two, three, four, five. Let's say 500,000. If rocket fuel is greater than 500,000. That means I've got a massive overhead of, uh, as, I was, as I was talking about earlier. There's the you run into you can run into the problem where you where your um, fluid where your fluid is just isn't flowing through very nicely. But that means I can have like a good ten thousand missing from each one, and it'll still be fine. And oil, crude oil, is greater than um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got room for six hundred thousand in here. Um, Let's set that to 550 for now. Uh, greater than 550,000. Then I again, once again, output a tick, but just one. Oh, did that twice. <laughs> uh, this one, <laughs> set this up correctly. If you're getting in three ticks, then output the output output everything from the from the input. Okay. Uh, that isn't an ion stream pipe. That's a that's a rocket pipe, um, the rocket fuel pipe, because these are rocket engines, not ion engines. Because this ship is isn't going very close to anywhere where I've got ion stream, ion st ion stream, um, and is going to have loads and loads of rocket fuel available when it goes to a sailor. So I thought, yeah, let's just run it off rocket fuel, might as well. Oh, but I do need a couple of bits of wall in over here. Like that. Okay, so now I need to do the deal with the wiring. Um, yeah you definitely need to pay attention or you'll miss out on all kinds of ooh, oh yeah need to pay attention he says immediately putting a cable into the wrong place <laughs> uh right so that's yeah that's carrying the so that goes along there um no it doesn't that doesn't go there that they go to there and that one <laughs> that's a mess of a way to wire it up but never mind and then those two go to the input side which is that one except they don't yet because I don't want the ship to fly off without permission <laughs> um, that goes to there as feeds into there as well that feeds into there I should have put these combinators. In fact, let's let's move those combinators down a bit. Don't put them up there. That's a silly. It is a silly place. Put these down here next to the things they're feeding the signals directly into. And we can wire those in there, and we'll program all that up in a minute. Now, also, we need to wire that input system to there. So the amount of rocket fuel is also um, known by the known by the system. So at the moment, we know we're in orbit. Uh, so okay, yeah, let, let's let's program that as well. So if you are in a planet, 
planetary orbit, do 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 that one um, equals 511 because that's Norbit orbit. Then output one green tick. No, one green tick. There we go. Let's get that right. And if crude oil is less than I seem to be going for a tank's worth, which makes absolutely no sense, but it's a, a good way to choose a number as any. So I'll do that for now and we'll see how it runs. And then this one, if ticks e equals two, then output all of the inputs as they are. Okay, so that's that's that setup apart from these these two boxes. Good. Okay, so I think this is this is coming together reasonably nicely. Um, I'm trying to work out what on earth is going on in my with my uh, with my view, view 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 counts at the moment because nothing nothing's loading properly because as previously mentioned my um internet is a bit being a bit terrible at the moment. I made the uh, wonderful uh, mistake of switching over to Virgin, which means I get blazing fast speeds occasionally. Um, yeah. Have I not cont Okay, now we're contained. Six six six, lovely. Um, so this ship could be a lot bigger. Now. I might as well put I might as well put a lot more storage in here, um, because the space is just just there and available. Why not use it? So I'll remove that for now, and we'll make another copy of this here, like that, um, and then put that uh, pylon back in again. Of course, like so. Does that still reach up to the top? Yes, it does. I love these things. I get such an amazing area coverage. Um, and of course, wire that back into everything as well. Like, actually, you know what? Let's just wire that to the to to there. In fact, let's let's wire that to there because it'll make the cabling slightly neater. Now I've got a bit of wasted space here that I haven't that I'm not using for anything. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Where is one of my fueled existing fuel ships up here? Oh, solar solar panels. Right, yes, that would be useful, um, especially with all of the uh, shields and turrets and things I'm putting in here. Right, let's um, let's do that. Might actually need to get rid of one of these rows of uh, of um, uh, tanks, actually. Yeah, two of these are not going to be enough. Even even though I'm not using ion drive, I suspect I'm just going to need to have a few more of these in here at least. Um, and that pylon can probably go in here and still reach everything. Yep. Yes, yes, it can. Still powers the entire ship. Excellent. Now, the, the we're sure, I should probably do the maths here. So the, this ship isn't really going to go anywhere outside the um, the immediate sort of. Um, out, it's not going to go outside the, the sort of the Norvis sphere of influence. It's only flying out to uh, Asalia, which is a, is a moon of Norvis and is therefore quite close by. So hopefully this is going to be enough power. It's only using providing about half the amount of power it needs to at the moment. So where's all that going? So most of it's going straight into the shield generators. Okay. Um, what do the engines use when they're running? Max consumption 100 kilowatts. It's not very much at all. Um, the lasers will draw three megawatts when they're running so the, the lasers are going to be a little bit of a problem um but i think i think the ship is probably going to be okay so let's get off let's leave the ship before it accidentally goes somewhere with me on it and then finish up programming it so this one we need what we need to say when oh i need a oh i need a landing signal as well i forgot about that um Oh, and I need a clamp on it as well. That'd be useful. <laughs> oh yeah, the rocket. Yes, the the oil check is now should now be a bit higher because I put in some extra ones. You're right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, thirty. Uh, maths is difficult. Seven and a half. Seven hundred and fifty. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. So yeah, let's make that six. Let's make that. Let's make it 700,000 and see how long it takes to actually get to that. Because that's 50,000 missing. So there's... No, that's not... Well, I don't know. Let, 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 let's see. Let's see when it when it, um, when it it tries to do it. Um, so this one is to say if... 
distance is minus one, I think. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. They've always all been copied. Um, but yeah, if distance is minus one, then pass everything through. And then this, when it finally appears, fine, I'll do it myself. There we go. Um, this one should then be connected to that to there, that to there. And we're going to say, oh yes, I need to put clamp on it, don't I? That's the thing I haven't done yet. So putting a splodge of that there. Pick up a couple of pieces. And now I don't know if that's actually going to fit there. Um, where are my clamps? There they are. No, of course it's not. There we go, put it there instead. Uh, there, in fact. And then I can put in another blob of this stuff there. And put another one of these here. Hey Arctic, welcome. I am currently building the uh, ship to go off and collect oil and from Asalia and bring it up to Norvis orbit. Um, so I was talking about this at the end of the last stream, but basically this is this is to bring a, give me a reliable oil supply in this whole sort of general Norvian area. Um, I'm just checking what the next number I can put on a clamp is, and it's 18. 18 is the oil ship for Asalia, which I can't spell, but never mind. None of you are ever going to see this to Norbit. So, number 18 for you. And the internal one doesn't matter. It seems to have got a 6, but I don't, I don't know why, but it ha but that's fine. So then we say we want... Um, Spaceship right clamp is a six, and target left clamp is an eighteen. Yes, Norbit. It's a portmanteau of Norvis and Orbit. I mean, it seems like a good name for my space station, so I'm going to carry on calling it that. Yes. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Right. So that's that's that program to, to dock when it arrives. Over here, this is the one for lifting off to to, to Norbit. Um, planet orbit 511 um, yes and launch where's the launch there's launch and some sp several speeds and, oops, and is that it I think that might be it why is there a corpse signal I don't want I don't want to know um, bloop 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 um, I think that's everything you set up on a ship. So yeah, destination. Uh, that was a lot of spaceship noises. I hope there's something, isn't something going wrong. Uh, we're going to from here. We're going to Moon 11:34. We are going to launch. Yes, we are. L -l 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 launch. It's just occurred to me that getting this spaceship there in the first place is going to be rather difficult because it doesn't have any fuel on board and there isn't really a way to get fuel down here because I was just going to fuel it up at the other end because that seemed so much easier. Um, I didn't think my cunning plan all the way through. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I guess I'll... Let's see. It only needs enough fuel to fly over there. Um, it doesn't need to launch. Well, it needs to launch from Norvis orbit but that should be pretty cheap. Oh, goody. OBS has just informed me that it's disconnecting. That's nice of it. Um, can any of you still hear me, or do I need to restart my um, everything? Oh, you can hear me. Okay, excellent. Um, good, I'll just carry on. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yes. So I was just saying... Oh dear, I'm not going to be able to launch from here. That's um, that's mildly problematic because there's no way to get any fuel into it um, with the way the system is currently set up because I didn't think my cunning plan all the way through. Now, there's loads of fuel up here. Um, I don't really want to run a fuel pipe all the way down here. Yeah, sorry, Mike. I'm, you, you've, um, you've tempted me to carry on talking. Uh, I could... So I could run, I, I, I mean, I, I could run a fuel pipe all the way down here, but I don't want to. I could make fuel down here from this oil that I currently don't have enough of to do anything anyway, so I'd r really rather not. I could 
gather up solid rocket fuel. There's some of it being made way over here. Uh, I could gather up a sort of an inventory full of this, carry it all over by hand and feed it in. That's These are all bad ideas. I don't like any of them. Um, I could put in a temporary railway station here and um, bring it down that way. As I say, all bad ideas that I don't really like any of. Um, but I think I think having a actually no, there isn't anywhere that actually loads it on. There isn't a station for loading rocket fuel. I can't drift it over here. I can't even drift it over to here and, and fuel it up. This is this is a bit of a pain. I, don't, I suppose I could rip the entire thing up and rebuild it somewhere more convenient now that I've designed it and just use a um, use a blueprint. That feels a bit of a not a great idea either but it might be the easiest way to do it somewhere where there is actually rocket fuel so basically up here somewhere i could yeah i could drop it in about here and then link in from this pipe i think that might be the easiest way to do this <laughs> um on the plus side having built it down here means i can be absolutely sure that there's room for it to land how are its stats actually before i go around and start fiddling with other things um you give me stats so we've got um let's run that again Fine, that's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, streamlining 100%, excellent. So it's a good ship design. Well done there. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to just deconstruct this. Well, I say deconstruct. I'm going to copy it from here as a uh, entire thing like that. Put it in up here, which is helpfully outside. Put it in here. I can't. There's no fuel in it. And since the latest um, space exploration update, you can't undock a ship, even in space, if it doesn't have any fuel. At least, pretty sure that's the case. Let's check, just to make sure. Um, yeah. Requires fuel in the booster tanks. The rules have changed. <laughs> so I need to um, rip it up and rebuild it, which is helpful. But fortunately, that's actually quite easy. So I'll just put that there. So there's room to put, the ta put a pump in. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I'm going to leave this one here for now, but I will demolish it before I set the ship going. Ah, that's annoying. I'm um, <laughs> a bit miffed with myself that, uh, that, that I, I didn't think of that earlier. Oh, well, c'est la vie. Oh, and at this point, can I just take the, a moment to say that anyone who's watching on YouTube, um, I recommend... and. Well, for t to please come over and watch on Twitch for two reasons. Firstly, it deals a lot better with my crappy internet connection um, because it doesn't start a whole new video every time the, the, uh, the stream restarts. But also because I'm trying to build up my uh, Twitch supporters at the moment. So having having more people on there would be uh, would be great. So, yeah, please come and watch on Twitch if you can. Um, if not, I mean, do I, I'd rather you're watching on YouTube than not at all. But, but uh, oh dear. Uh, but it may give you it may give you a few issues and yeah it's just going to be le less than ideal for everyone involved <laughs> all right come on build the ship build the ship build the ship let's set some more of the stuff being brought over just because i'm impatient tum -ti -tum -ti -tum. nearly there just a few more bits up the wall there on the side there we go Right, I think it's... Actually, no, I was going to say I think it's probably safe. Actually, in fact, let's delete the old one. Um, yes, this one. Demolish. Oop, not that. Just demolish that part. Oh, no, don't... don't. No, I didn't mean... I didn't mean for... I didn't mean for my robots to do it, but never mind. I've got a load of miscellaneous stuff in my inventory now. In fact, let's get rid of some of this junk that I'm carrying around with me. Uh, it's a lot of junk. I'm going to hang on to those for now. Yeah, let's get rid of those, though. And spaceship wall. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> oh, I oh, didn't. 
you'd think I'd learn after making a mistake once not to do it again imme immediately and then immediately another another time, wouldn't you? But no, apparently not. Oh, well, I'll get rid of it later by the magic of logistics bots. Uh, yeah, I don't want any of that. <laughs> Oops, do want that. Don't, don't want that. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> there we go. Right, how are we getting on with the new spaceship up here? Right, okay, so that I think is now basically done. What's oh, that's the uh, the construction bots have just ripped the whole thing up. That's fine. Okay, so up here, this is going to be a one-off, but oh, I'm still going to need to put in a bit of infrastructure for this. So here, we need to have a supply of um, what do you call them? It rocket fuel being passed in here. So let's put in. Uh, put in a bit of this like that if I put that there there is still going to be room for a pump there and then a pipe there so we can use this to just fill this ship up with fuel now in fact while while I'm here oh, let's fall off the world let's clear up some of this um, unneeded spaceship floor that it surprises me a little bit that you need quite so much under the rocket engines i don't remember it being like that for previous um previous ships but never mind right this is going to take approximately forever because we are oh we're very very short of rocket fuel right so the numbers that i'm using over here are apparently insufficient so whatever this is set to now whatever this has got to it needs to 1.3 million uh what are we um triggering out 1.4 million okay so it's very nearly there but let's drop this down because it's just not working and then that can go Shoomp. and then the other one so i've got two of these ships so the second one is immediately landed and is um, going to start filling up as well right over here uh oh for goodness sake spot the um, obvious problem yes the refueling ship isn't going to be able to land here because there's a in oil ship in the way so I'm going to turn that tank round and drain my personal ship here into this ship and hopefully that'll give it enough fuel and in fact let's drain this one as, as well there we go now we're talking uh, let's take that piece out as well so just make sure all of this fuel goes into these tanks now, hopefully, if I'm draining these tanks and these tanks and these tanks, it'll flow in reasonably quickly and there'll be plenty to fill it up. Thing is, I'm not really sure exactly how much fuel this is going to need because I don't, I don't, I don't have a feel for how much fuel it takes to fly across the uh, fly out to, to the moon. Um, I'm just assuming that however much I put it... 100,000, 103,000. I really don't know. How much does it take? To... There's no, oh, there's no, um, 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 what do we call it? That thing. Uh, didn't think that one through again. Um, I say didn't think it through. I was, I, I knew it was going to happen. I was just hoping I was going to. I'd forgotten I had some had the um the space the floor spaceship floor in my inventory from doing that. So uh, right there we go. Is that one about to go? Yes, it is. So we've got oh, okay. We only need 23 gigajoules and we've got 308 gigajoules. So that's probably going to be enough to fly over to um uh fly over to where do you call it? Um, Asalia and well land. It doesn't matter about coming back. I don't need it to come back at the moment. Uh, I need to go over and redesign it and, and build up the infrastructure over there for that to, for that to happen so yeah i'm gonna call that good enough i think so let's um wire this up so the output of this needs to go into the inputs that oh it already was and the outputs of these should be all three yes it is needs to go to the input of this now you no, you should be outputting the input count at the moment. Let's see. Input it's not. Why is it not? Um, input signal is only one tick. Uh, so it should have n less than 25k fuel. So that one's working. 
This one is not. Why are you not working? Oh, it's A, not 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 orbit. That's why. And that should also be A. I don't think I got to that in time, but you know, I'm pretty sure that isn't supposed to happen. I'm pretty sure ships aren't supposed to launch the first time without you touching, without you uh, doing it manually. Um, but never mind, it's not actually a problem in this particular case. There we go. Turn all that round, and there we go. This, this, the fuel ship has now landed. We can refuel all of these tanks and stop playing silly wasp names with all of that. So that's all good. I've, it has occurred to me though that I think down here we need to have. In fact, let's put it in here. We need a pump there like that. Uh, just to make sure it's pulling the fuel out of there and not just sitting with it and not just averaging the amount of in, in all of the tanks around them. Yep. Yeah, basically. So when this one's refueled, I can then fly that off. Okay, so that's that's the that that ship. Let's let's have a look see if it's actually working. It must be the apparition because I didn't send anything else out there. It's now floating here waiting because there's nowhere to dock. So that's that's fine. It's waiting for there to be a clamp number 18 down on the ground for it to land next to. Once that appears, then the thing will land. But while while I think of it, let's change this to an A as well, because otherwise it won't work. Right. So in order to get in order to get this process finished, I'm going to need to go over to, to Asalia. I'm going to need to have um, a system of for loading in basically somewhere that dumps unloads oil. And I think I'm probably going to bring a rail line up all the way up here to do it. Maybe, maybe even over here somewhere, so that I can load the f rocket fuel from here straight into the uh, into my spaceship to, to refuel it. Um, so I'll have an oil drop off area up here, and loads of tanks, and then loads of and then a feed straight across into the spaceship. So I'm going to need a load of track. Uh, let's have a look and see what I've actually got. I'm going to need a load of railway line, um, normal ground railway line. Uh, let's say a thousand of that should be enough, I think. Um, I'm going to need a station, which I've got. I'm going to need lots of pumps and lots of oil tanks. I don't know if that's going to be enough storage tanks. Let's bump that up to 100. 100 is bound to be enough. That's a lot of storage tanks. Um, I'm going to need a load of space underground pipes. Yeah, I'm going to need some normal pipes. Let's take some... Um, let's take like 500 pipe sections and 200 pipe to grounds. Uh, let's ditch some of oh um hmm. or ditch some of this stuff that's not relevant to where I'm going. How are we generating fuel on a sailor at the moment? Uh, sorry, generating electricity on a sailor. Um oh here, so there's a nuclear power plant. Which has oh yes, I remember there was a um, there was a patch of uranium here. I pulled it all up, um, <laughs> and it's now going in here and it's gradually being turned into 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 fuel cells. So that's that's probably okay. I think are we getting in? Yeah, I think that, that's that's all right. It's it's running off the stuff on the planet itself. I should probably put an alar an alarm here to tell me when this act when this gets close to running out and tells me I need to go and look at it. But for now, basically okay. Right. Do, do, do. So I think this is this is this is famous last words, but I think that's probably everything I need. Um, I've got I've got the loads of storage tanks and I've got the pumps and the pipes and things, which are the important things. Uh, a load of rail station. Yeah, I think I'm probably OK. I've got a combinator, which I'll need for the station as well. Yeah, let's let's assume I've got everything. Head out there and then realise what I've forgotten and grumble a bit and fly back again later. Get in the ship. There we go. There's also a load of miscellaneous junk in here, which may or may not come in useful. Oh, and a load of um, fuel cells. Maybe I should put them somewhere. And a load more pump jacks as well. So I could actually add more um, uh, more 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 oil mines to the, uh, to the system if I wanted to. I've even got enough bits of train to build another. Um, Fluid train, but I don't think I'm going to need that because there's already plenty there. So let's go to Asalia. This won't take very long. It's a whole 18 seconds away with three ion engines. Pshh. 
I should probably put some shields on the front of this ship at some point, but it doesn't seem to go fast enough for that to actually be necessary. Oh, and OBS has just whinged at me again. Um, it says it's reconnecting. Please let me know when it reconnects. <laughs> I hope you're all still there. I really do. It says it's reconnected now. Uh, can you hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Uh, anchor. Uh, let's land. Let's land up here so I'm out of the way. Bloomp. There we go. Can anyone hear me? Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Oh, dear. This is really annoying. Oh, okay, good. Did you hear me say, can you hear me the previous time I said, can you hear me? Or, was, or have you only just been able to hear me? <laughs> All right, yeah. I think, well, OBS said it was disconnecting and reconnecting, so I suspect it was another internet glitch. Um, yes, this is getting very, very frustrating for me as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so let's plan for where the ship's going to go. Uh, to, oh, no, that does line up. That's convenient. So I'll want to put it there, I think. that's a, That looks like a good place for it. Uh, if I turn off my... No, Altar, not Controller, uh, isn't it? Yes. If I turn off my robots, then I can put down a um, a plan like... Oh, no, wait, that's, that's wrong. It needs to go there. And it, yeah, it does line up. Okay. If I put that there, then I can pump fuel straight into it from from let's put it there actually. So I can pump the fuel straight in, and then I can have uh, right. So I can then put filling pipes there and there and there and there and there. I can put the other thingy, one of those thingy things in there. I can put that there and then pump there i can then delete this blueprint because i don't want to build another spaceship there we go and turn my robots back on and if i come over here we'll put this bit down as well and that'll help fill, fill up the uh, space the other spaceship a bit more quickly there's nowhere else i can put in another underground belt because these spaceships are a bit too cramped I, mean, I suppose actually i could put a lump on the side of it here but i don't know whether that would still be okay on the other side other end or not we'll um have to wait and see so let's make you an 18 and i wouldn't be surprised if we suddenly get a ship here but we don't seem to have done that's interesting uh why did i not suddenly get a ship there because we've got the apparition okay and open to the uh, open to chat what shall i call this ship some sort of oil based pun please um what if i tell it to go to norvis orbit and then tell it to go to Asalia? will it automatically land then no no it won't okay so what are you you're getting an input Oh, <laughs> right. That's why I've forgotten a um, a cable. So that also needs to get an input from there. Bloop. There we go. Now it works. Excellent. So I need to have that, but on to here. But also, you know what? That's not going to be enough storage. I want to have. Uh, loads of extra storage just to just to make sure that um, there's there's plenty of oil to fill up this um, thing why can you not really you can't put it down because the shields there <laughs> that's interesting it's fine to have it there when the shield is there but not fine to put it down when the when the it's fine for it to already be there when the shield appears but not not fine to have it there in it beforehand. Great. Okay, so there's plenty of pumps to pump the oil in. That's 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 good. That's how, that's more that's the design I was going for. Um, I think that should fill it up quickly enough. It'll probably be okay. We then need the same thing over here, and we need right. Okay, so what sort of trains? Am I, what sort of trains am I playing with around here? Um, 
one, two, three, four. Mm, that's not a huge amount, but okay. The train is going to be very, very busy and going round and round and round an enormous amount, but never mind. So we'll put this in. Can I can I line it up? Of course not. That'd be easy. All right, we'll put that there. And then we'll put some more pumps in along here to pass it through. My hope is that um, once the system gets up and working, there's going to be so there's going to be um, so these ships are going to turn up so rarely there'll be plenty of time for the trains to fill all of this nonsense up. And as a four, it's going to take one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to take about fifteen trains to fill this up. Blimey. Okay. <laughs> so run a line up here like this. Fine. We'll run a line up here like this. There we go. And then from here round the top like this all the way back down here and you know what let's just fly down there and put all the rail down as I go and then we can link it link it all in please don't be more than a thousand come on bots Huh. I th I'm wondering if I might have not brought enough rail. That would be embarrassing. Oh, no, actually, no. This It's going down relatively slowly compared to how quickly I'm, I'm finding my way down the tracks. I think we'll probably be okay. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be fine. Yes. I don't want to have to use space rail. That's, that, that's actually genuinely expensive. <laughs> that goes there. And then we need a couple of signals. I mean, we ideally we want to use a few more than a couple of signals, but a couple is the absolute minimum, minimum like that. And then I should really put them in every so often up here. It doesn't really matter because I don't expect it to be ever be more than one train going up here, but you never know. In the future, at some point, I might do things a little bit differently. I might add in some extra um, routes, uh, extra things that's going on up here. So put those in So it's for just general miscellaneous future proofing. Right, there's my first train of oil. So that gets there and then nothing happens. Good. <laughs> Link to all of that. So that train then drains very, very quickly into these tanks. And then while, while we're waiting for the next train to turn up, we pump all the oil straight out into these tanks and this all fills up and then this fills up and it just trickles it trickles across so this at this stage the first one is going to take blooming ages because we need like 15 train we, we, no we need um one two three four five six we need seven and a half trains to fill up this and we need another 15 trains to fill up this and then probably one more train to fill up to fill up this sufficiently. So it's going to be a while until we've got everything full and the train stop running. But I think this system here is probably going to be up to it, up to the task. The only thing that's a bit ridiculous is that all the trains are going to be running. Is this, I think there's only one train doing that route. What are you? No, no, you're an oil train as well. Um. Okay, so that's one of them is one of them is feeding the um, the rocket fuel stations. The other one is feeding this station. I suppose that's fair enough. Um, I could set this to a I could play around with the numbers here and just have the trains constantly going around to fill it up. But I think that's probably a bad idea. We'll just leave this to trickle through. I mean, it's as I say, it's going to take a while. But is that really a problem? We're gonna once once it's once it's all filled up, and it is going to get filled up pretty quickly because all of the 
they're having these pumps in here to drain basically drain these tanks more or less straight away means that we're guaranteed to fill all of this up as quickly as more or less as quickly as we can yeah sure the ones on the far side are going to get to 24,000 and sit there going well I don't know I'm just waiting um, but 24,000 is enough to have plenty to pump through into here so I think I don't care I think it's probably going to be fine uh, we'll just leave this just leave it as it is right okay so the question is do i dare just go yep that's all finished i'm going to leave it as leave it and just go away and work on things at the other end i think i probably i think i probably am that confident um i don't know if it's going to go well for me being that confident but i i am i'm pretty convinced that this is a, this is okay it's not one of my more complicated spaceship builds put it that way oh you know what i should check Let's have a look at the uh, the Naquifier 2 and see where that's got to. Ah, it's got all the way back out here and is loading up again. So putting in the speeds in here has fixed it. So it wasn't, for some reason, it wasn't picking up the numbers that were sent by these when it was told to blast off. But now I've programmed this manually. It's sufficiently happy with it that it's, it's going to be okay, hopefully. Okay, um, and it's nearly full again. So where's it? How, how's the other one getting on? Naquifier one is about oh more than halfway back. That means um, that if we look at Khalid, no Norvis orbit, we should. That means the um, I was going to say this should be running again. Um, has it all been used up? How much have we got here? So well, we've got two hundred and fifty here now. Um, that's not a train full, but I think it's a different number from what I saw before. Oh, it was a uh, coronal mass ejection heading for Kothar. I suppose I should probably have a look at that and try and work out whether it's actually a worry or not. <laughs> um, most of the time, they're not too much of an, a concern because I've put in the um, these umbrella defences everywhere. Question is, how much power is there available? Gigawatt and a half. Okay. Um, how big is that... Um, how big is your coronal mass ejection? I see energy beams for more information. Energy beams. Do, 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 do. Estimated event, 0.75 gigawatts peak power. <laughs> right, well, um, yeah, we can just tank that straight out of the nuclear power plants because we can produce one, one and a half. That's literally twice what we need. So, um, yeah, bring it. <laughs> uh, this is another place that will eventually be moved over to uh, beam power, but at the moment there's plenty of... I think there's plenty of... Still, back to Kothar, please. Still plenty of uranium here, I think. Well, there's still some uranium here anyway, so we're um, we're okay for now. <laughs> there's another one of these um, random rails to nowhere. This is because the first time I came here, I came by rocket and it crash landed up here because there wasn't a landing pad. So I ended up building a railway to bring all of the n nonsense that, that came on the rocket down here to where I was ready to actually start building things with it. <laughs> oh, there's a, um, a blast from the past. Let's check out, while I'm just going around checking things out, let's have another look at gear off and see how that how my spaceship train is doing. Okay, that's good. We've got to the point where the um, there isn't a train waiting, there is, or there isn't two trains waiting. So we're at, this is this is flowing at about, about the right sort of rate, probably, kind of. And we're shoving it all in here. Um, okay, we're waiting for enough stone to come through just to top this one up a tiny bit. Um, and enough everything to come through to fill these two up because they're a bit emptier. Because I, hmm, I've used a proper balancer here this time, so I don't know why these boxes have got so much more stuff in than these ones have. But I also, it's not hugely out of whack, so I don't really care. I don't think it actually matters. And we've got plenty of time because this this train needs to be loaded up anyway before the, before anything too too amazing happens. Thinking of that, this is a problem. This is gummed up because we've got we've got too much copper. Jeez. Okay. Um, let's um, claim some, I guess. We'll fill this up with fill this chest up, this uh, warehouse up with copper, just to get some of it flowing again. Actually, no, there's no point in doing that. <clears throat> we just need to use up use up some more copper, and over here we've got plenty of it. So, mm. um. I think 
I need to put in some sort of system that tells the, tra the, the spaceship not to lift off from gear often if there's a massive quantity of copper down here already. Like if there's a if there's any copper in these warehouses, don't take off. So let's put in a transmitter here. And then we can link that up to all of these and we'll transmit that off to all of the places where spaceships are going to be taking off and then tell the ones that are bringing specific things not to bother if there's any in the uh, in the system already because I kind of I kind of knew this was going to happen but I was I don't know just being a bit naive about it I suppose what I need to guess I need to do is I need to upgrade them all to warehouses just so I've got that bit of extra storage space or I could put in a second row across here is that yeah um yeah um or I could put in another row of uh, chests because these store f yeah, 500 stacks. These store 40, yeah, 50 stacks. So these are 10 times. So, yeah, but there's six of those. 620. Yeah, the yeah. Okay, so yes, if you put chests in block in in blocks like you can when there are logistics chests, then you get denser storage than you do with one of these. But if you're relying on inserters to pass through, then you're better off with a with a warehouse in. So I should probably make a copy of this, put it and put it in here instead that does of course mean um enormous quantity having to deal with enormous quantities of um uh cop copper ore so i'm not going to do that by robo by uh, robo port why has that not been built it's fine it's just the bots being slow getting down here okay so at some point i'm going to need to go down and do that so let's put that on the to-do list so that i remember about it later um Per control on Norvis. Yeah, so here it is with even more copper that I don't have in. That I don't know what to do with. <laughs> I should have told that one not to go anywhere. Um, I imagine a large warehouse is exactly the same from a UPS point of view as a as a chest is. It's just it's just a big chest. Um, so it's going to be exactly the same. So potentially having one warehouse instead of a row of chests is going to be slightly better for UPS. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I've never really worried about UPS very much. As you can see, it's it seems to be fine. Um, it's, he says it just it drops to 57. Um, and that's with both a stream and a recording going. So not too worried about it. It's, um, I, th I think things are all right, are, are fine. Oh, they're worse. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm prepared to believe you i'm just sort of slightly surprised because it's the opposite of what i'd expect but sure i i, I don't really care very much <laughs> yeah, the, my computer can, my computer can handle it the factory isn't i mean the factory is big in that it's spread out over a huge number of planets but it's not actually that that's not connected it's not actually that big as as mega bases go in this game uh, so when I was moving stuff around here, I completely forgot to do that and that. So now we have 117, 118,000. We're waiting for, tw we're waiting for 700,000. So it's about a about a sixth full, should we say? <laughs> We've got quite a lot more trains to come through before this actually takes off. But that's okay because there's quite a lot to do before I can uh, do anything with it. So I want to go back to Norbis orbit now. I just had a sudden panic that I hadn't got back on the spaceship. <laughs> um, yeah, but I had. It's all right. Um, so yeah, Steve. Um, someone in Twitch has just said, yeah, has said that the uh, the big the big warehouses are actually worse than the chests. I uh, I, I, I I say I can't I can't I can't uh, speak for it for, for sure. I, I don't actually know. But um, yeah, someone says they're they're worse. So I'm I have I have no other information. So on that, I'm just going to believe him. <laughs> yes, it is indeed a beefy tanker because well. I need a lot of oil, or at least I'm going to need a decent chunk of oil. And I thought better to better to sort of overshoot a little, better to bring, have a really big tanker. Where am I even going? Oh yeah, over here. Um, and better to have, better, basically there is no such thing as overkill. There is only open fire and time to reload. So I thought let's just build a massive tanker, and let's put in some of these, like no like that 
because then I can have a pipe coming out here. Oh, don't fill me up with, I don't want any of that. <laughs> I've done what I needed those for. Uh, take them away. I don't want them. I said I don't want them. Stop it. Bloody bots. <laughs> or, no, actually, I should just blame my lack of planning, but um, I'm going to blame the bots anyway. So, I need to, I need to put, basically, I need to get the um, out pipes in the right place for this, which is going to be fun. So let's put in a chunk of scaffolding here, like that. Thanks, David. Yeah, it's um, Twitch is Twitch is more is is recommended because it's more reliable when my internet connection is being a bit pants, um, and also because um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to grow my Twitch channel as well. And YouTube, my YouTube channel is already doing pretty well off the back of Factorio. Twitch needs a bit more encouragement, and therefore I'd like to. Um, encourage everyone to to watch on Twitch if they possibly can. Uh, okay, that's the that's the more remote one. So we need uh, pump coming out there. Then let's just use let's use tanks as measuring devices. So we do that there and that there. That, no, let's put them in the right place so it actually works. There, there, there we go. That's all the tanks that I all the loady unloady places I have for my ship. Okay. Um, I'm not going to faff around with pylons. I can't be bothered. Just have one of, have one of them. In fact, replace that with one of them. There we go. Then all the rest of these things are a bit of a nonsense. I'll then put in another set of the. How many? How many? How many is a good number? Probably that many because they fit. <laughs> um, I'll get rid of that robo port, but put it in. The, no. Put some more of this down. Have some more tanks coming up here, like this. And then pipes like that. There we go. Oh, well, let's put in another pump up here, just 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 on general principles. Right. So that's now my supply that's now when the when the oil ship comes back and lands here it will fill up or it will fill up these tanks the ship will sit there because these tanks aren't as big as the amount of space amount of oil space on the ship so the ship will sit there being part of the tank system and that's absolutely fine i'm happy with that um and then as it gradually unloads hopefully there'll be enough of a buffer in here um that, 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 that that'll be enough to keep these machines running while the ship then flies back out to Asalia to get a load more um a load more uh, a load more oil to bring it out here. So um, nobody's given me a name for my um, tanker yet, tanker ship yet. So slightly disappointing. I haven't given. It means it's still called whatever the default name was it was given. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm in, in the interest of uh, suitably punny names. If no one suggests anything else, then I'm going to go with what uh, Cam Jensen said and just call it Beefy Tanker. Uh, <laughs> so it's up to you guys if you can think of anything better. Okay, so is that? That is hopefully the um, the oil from Asalia done. I'm not going to cross it off the list yet because I haven't seen it actually work, and I'm I'm familiar enough with the way I tend to my my somewhat slapdash approach to building things that I'm not just going to fly down there. I'm just going to not not just going to assume that it's going to work. Uh, what I am going to do is drop down to Norvis and. Um, and, and fix that copper problem. Uh, ooh, can I get a res receiver? Let's get one to when I'm down on Norvis, because there's loads of them there. Then I can fly over to um, Gear Often as well and um, get that set up. <laughs> yeah, some sort of pun around BP and um, blame petroleum or something like that. Uh, Right, here we are. Anchor on Norvis. I want to be, uh, yeah, down here. Down here will do. It's out of the way. Um, and it'll allow me to come up here. Right. Okay, turn off that. Um, uh, 
Right, so what I want to do is remove all of that. Uh, I might as well turn off my robots as well because I don't really want to fill my inventory up with too much nonsense. Um, then I want to take a copy of this and place it uh, oh, okay. Let's um, all right, deconstruct this as well. And actually it turns out I need a copy of this and yes I do know I've missed a bit but I don't want to get the um, combinator and put it in what's that in the what oh combinator's in a different place here actually forget that copy that because then I'll get then I'll have to reprogram it to there I can pull that up now I can paste this in here safely uh, no, must go there. Yes. No, there. Yeah, that looks right. And then I can come over here and I need to put that there, that there, and that there. Right. So that's that's the basics of that done. We've got the you've got all the belts in place now, apart from whatever was underneath this. Um, let's try again. <laughs> Uh, there, yeah. Let's put those in. Right, so I've put down a warehouse over here. That can take my inventory for now. That means, oh, except for the warehouses that I need. I thought I had some warehouses. Oh, maybe they're in the um, spaceship. Yeah, those ones. I can come along here. Oh, I can't pick that up. Crikey. Put that in there. <laughs> Um, and pick up those and then put in a warehouse there and then put all the copper ore back into that like that okay so now now we've gone from using um, all of the storage space available to using two-thirds of it hmm. it's an improvement but it's not a, not quite as big an improvement as I was hoping for so this is a bit of a Actually, what I should do is put down another warehouse there. In fact, let's put down, let's request some more warehouses uh, like that. And then I can just dump that, dump that. Now I can put in a warehouse, put in a warehouse there. And then I can pick, pull these ones up and dump and pull up and dump into there, which is much easier. Put down another warehouse, pull up this one, dump, pull up this one, dump. Can you imagine how long this would take if I was using um, bots to do it? They'd have to empty every, empty all these chests to somewhere by, well, by bot, obviously. Oh, I've run out. <laughs> there we go. Um, they'd have to empty it by by bot and then refill it by bot and that would just take blooming ever. Right. Done. That was um, only mildly painful. And it has has declogged that clog, which is nice. Now coming down here, there is still a massive quantity of um, <clears throat> uh, of, of copper in all of these these warehouses. So what I need to do here is link them up to that transmitter like that and we'll call this um, core supplies I guess. In fact you know what while we're at it let's link this side up to it as well just in case I ever want to know and also, let's link it up to a pylon so I can get a readout on it. In case I ever want to know how much core fragmentage I've got down here, as well as how much copper and stone and all these other things. So that now, now I've done that, I need to... I should have done this when, when I first landed, because it's going to take the bots a while to bring it down to me. But I'm going to need a receiver. Um, 
let's have five of those and five of those and just oh unless there's some in here already uh doesn't look like it okay so we'll i'll i'll uh, yeah i'll grab these because that will be will actually be useful um and then i'll dump the spare ones into my into my spaceship and so what i can so what I can do with this is then I can, I can essentially I can now set the um, the spaceship on gear often to only be allowed to lift off when there's no copper in these in these warehouses. So when we've used up, yeah, basically when 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 it doesn't look like this, this sort of massive flood of orange coming through, which is a bit ridiculous and likely to cause I don't know. We've got a bit of space up there. We shall see. Am I even in the logistics? No, I'm not. Okay, it's going to be a while till I receive those things I've asked for if I'm not standing in the in the area. There we go. Oh, two minutes till the coronal mass ejection. So we'll head over and watch that. So let's see, suggestions. We've got Beefy Tanker, Tanky McTankerson, and there must be a BP pun somewhere, but I can't find it. Um, I do... I am amused by Tanky McTankerson. Um... But I feel like Beefy Tanker is probably a better name, to be honest. <laughs> it, it entertains me more anyway. So let's go down here. You are now the Beefy Tanker. And the Beefy Tanker is ooh, full. Excellent. These, these, and these tanks are about half full, so that's going quite well. Why are you still there, Beefy Tanker? Um, input signal one tick. Okay, so you've got an output signal there from that one. Why do you say? What are you saying? You're saying at least five hundred thousand rocket fuel. There is no rocket. What? Have I linked this to the wrong place? Yes, yes, I. Yes, I have. Okay, so you don't go to there. You go to the inputs, which is these ones over here. Likewise, you. Don't go to... Oh, that should link in. Okay. What are you watching for? You're watching for more than 700,000. And there's a 100... My maths is obviously way, way out. Because I... 25, 1, 2, 3, that 100, 200... Well, that, those four... Are... Oh, I see the problem. Um, Yeah. And go. All right, don't go. Uh, where is there still a problem? So you're, you're outputting one. You're not. So you've, you're expecting... Oh, uh, you've got 599,000. And you're expecting what? More than 500? Okay, so you should be a... T if rocket fuel is more than 500,000... Oh, output one tick. There we go. Now it should be good to go. Oh, Christ, that's who designed the ship, honestly? That one, that one's fine, though. Plip, there it goes. Right. Oil has left the building. Oil be damned. Sorry. I'm not sorry. But, yeah. You know. Have I got Have I got my receivers and my transmitters? I didn't set up, I didn't set up a request for receivers. I thought I did. Why are they not on it? Am I on some sort of weird... Weird, isolated, not connected. Logisti boss name. No. I'm sure I'm making these. I mean, I don't know where I'm making them, but I'm sure I am. Must be. Surely. That's... But as I say, I don't know where I would be making them, and I don't have Beast Finder installed. Hey Wayne, welcome to the stream. And I see you're watching on YouTube. I am still having my previous um, issues with my internet connection. So you may find that watching on YouTube is a little bit tricky, because I don't think it deals with um, connection drops as well as certain other platforms do. So you might be better off watching on Twitch if you can. Also, I prefer you to watch on Twitch because I'm trying to grow that channel and it's nice to have the numbers um, boosted over there where possible. <laughs> but yeah, so if you can, please do. Um, if not, 
well, I'll, I'll, I'll suppose I'll forgive you. <laughs> oh, thank you for the um, thank you for the subscription, um, Levin. That's much appreciated. Thank you. You're my uh, <laughs> my seventh subscribe subscriber. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> now where? And now I'm going to go back to going. Where on earth? I'm I'm sure I was building transmitters and receivers somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. It's a uh, it does it it yeah it. it Hopefully it helps the channel grow, as I say, because then if, if there's if there's more people watching, then it means Twitch will advertise the channel better, and more people watching means more people watch. So basically, maybe I'm not building them down here. Maybe I'm building them up in Norvis orbit, because I'm sure I was building them somewhere. Is it one of these things? No, it's not one of them. Uh. I don't know. It is a mystery. Well, apparently there aren't any down here, and I'm not going to build up a system to... Oh, we've got more copper arriving. Goodness sake. <laughs> Goodness sake, you're off and stop it. Stop being so efficient and effective. All right, let's get back to Norvis Orbit and see if we can find any up there, and I can refuel there as well. Then I can head off to... Um... Then I can head off to gear off, and... and if I haven't managed to find a, a receiver by then, I'll cry. No, um, build them up there instead. Build them up here instead. Ooh, ah, falling. There we go. Still no receivers or transmitters. What? Oh, well, I guess that's going to be a uh, a brief distraction. So down here, I guess. Oh, thank you. You're quite right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> thank you, Anima. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness sake. No wonder things weren't working. Hopefully there'll be some of them up here. Uh, I've got transmitters. I've got two receivers. That'll be in, that'll do for now. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I made that mistake. <laughs> Thank you. You see, this this is why I like streaming because it means I've got people to uh, come along and point out when I've done something dumb and um, and make sure I don't do it again. <laughs> oh goodness sake. Uh, right. Uh, let's. That's going to be enough to take off and gear off, and it's a small planet. Uh, moon, even. Gear off and go there. So the question is, how do I program this up? Do I put in an extra signal reedy thing in the in the spaceship, or do I block trains from entering, or something like that? If there's any left there, could, oh, could block the trains from entering. That might be a nice way to do it. Feeding the signal onto the spaceship is obviously the correct way to do it and the better way, the generally the best best way. Um, so I think I should probably do that. We'll see. It depend, depends on a couple of things. Firstly, if the spaceship is actually there or not, because if it's not there, then setting it, setting that up is going to be a faff and an annoying. Um, but also on um, whether there's room in the spaceship to stick in another um, another combinator and whether I brought another combinator with me. Uh, I didn't. Oh, there's there's some in here, I think. Comparative combinator job. That one. Decider combinator. That's what they're called. Need one of them. Why have I got all this wood and this stone and this everything? Oh dear. You know, maybe I should actually tidy this up at some point. Because it is just gradually accumulating junk and nonsense, and and blueprints as well apparently. Um, but meh. <laughs> pew pew. So let's see. I reckon the the trains coming off gear off, and they're bringing out. They're about half full of um of copper. So that means I'm going to be bringing out forty times five, so two hundred stacks of copper. And there was, yeah, okay, a couple of a couple of runs of that should still fit okay into those, um, what do you call it, into those warehouses I put down. So we might be okay for a little bit, a little while. Let's land on that cliff and see if it wrecks, see if it destroys it. I think it does. Bloop. Yeah, there we go. It's a very very hard edge there, but never mind. Okay, so the spaceship is not here, which is unfortunate. But still, I'll put in the um, receiver here. Like these things are massive. Like that. Um, 
So I want to receive the, what do I call it, core supplies signal. Where is the gear off from core? It is on its, oh, it's on its way back out here, actually. So let's let's wait for that to land, and then we can get that set up. Oh, good, the there and knack again is starting to fly. Um, so that's, that means we've got some Naquium available in, in, in the system. It's, some of it has been brought back. One of the things I'd quite like to do is to make my uh, Naqu Naquitite ships much, much bigger. Now that I've got extra extra space, in, uh, extra, extra um, uh, what's the word, extra spaceship structural integrity available, um, I just want to make, one, make them twice as wide and put two, col and put, um, two columns of... Um, um, Let's have a look at the ship while I'm talking about it. Basically, make it to make it twice as wide. Have and then have a double column of these things running down, running down the middle of it. And if I'm doing that, then maybe I'll bring this down and rotate it across, rotate it through 90 degrees, so it just goes across here. And then I could have four t four of these warehouses in here, so I could bring uh, maybe almost three times as much of the uh, Naquitite with me. Um, and that would generally, yeah, just give me a lot more, uh, a lot more carrying capacity. That's going to be a bit of a mission because of all of the um, control systems around here but it might be worth it maybe I'd also have to um, read move the uh, the anchor point probably over to the other side and uh, redesign the landing pads certainly at the other end no actually redesign the landing pads at both ends to try and get that to, to work happily so it's gonna be a bit bit of a mission maybe I won't bother maybe I'll just put more and more and more of these spaceships in since it's a functional system <laughs> uh, Okay, Wayne. Yeah, that sounds fair enough. I mean, I I have heard that the um, oh yeah, actually, I've discovered myself from trying to watch um, Al's Factorio, no, Al's Minecraft stream on Monday. Uh, do come along on Mondays for the uh, Minecraft stream, everyone. By the way, um, yes, I tried to watch that on Monday because I was away on holiday, so I wasn't streaming myself. And yeah, watching on um, a Twitch on a phone is a bit is it on, uh, is a bit annoying. So yeah, I can completely understand wanting to not do that. <laughs> Admittedly, I wasn't using the app. I was running it in the browser, and I didn't know my password because it's something ludicrously long and complicated that saved into LastPass. Uh, but it was problematic. <laughs> Not ideal. So that one goes to Tulip, like... Boop. Oh. <laughs> sort of like that, but then the other one took off immediately at it's, it's, it's the same time. Right, there we go. There's the gear off and core landing. So, I need to link... I need to link this to this and this to this and then somewhere in here I need to put in another one of these plunk like that and I want to say if oh heck are these reading the train contents yes I don't know why they're reading the train oh yes I do Ah, I need to translate that. Then I need a um, arithmetic combinator there, which I don't. Which of course I don't have. Um, do I have one in here? No. Do I have the bits to make one? Of course not. All I need is stone bricks and, well, um, okay. I suppose I can. Take some of that and some of that. Um, one moment, please. <laughs> We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh, you take that and I guess one of them. You take that and also one of them. Oh! I keep forgetting about that. Oh, I see. See, instead of you having, the, yeah, it's a bit less future-proofy, but it could work. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that for now, um, just in case I don't manage to build any of that in the, in time. Uh, so we'll put that to uh, no, from there to no, I won't. <laughs> um, Uh, what I will do though is I'll stick that over to manual so it doesn't go anywhere and then we'll make an arithmetic combinator and we will unlink that from there, we'll link that to there and that to there 
and we'll then say input of copper ore uh, times one. Don't know why it defaults to times zero. That's not very helpful. And we'll have it output the letter C. No, we won't because that means trains. We'll have it output the letter O for ore. And then U will be if O is yeah, let's just let's just let's keep this simple. O is zero. Then flag one, one green flag. Um, hang on, that might not be the right. That isn't the right place. Uh, uh, this is all. I don't know what's doing what here. This is a mess, as as, as, as typical. Um, if A is five twenty, okay, so that's that's here. This must this must be five twenty because, yeah, we're getting an input of five twenty. Okay, so these, this is that's the tr train. So that's feeding over to there. This this one. So I need to make that four, and then I need to wire this to there. Okay, so now we're saying if copper is greater than 10k and and we're on gear often and there is no copper ore at the other end and we've got two trains, then that that'll be that will make that to four, so it'll tell it to take off um, via this gate system up here. Right, good. So this should be taking in yeah, it's taking in 81,000 copper and Outputting 81,000 O's. So over here we have eight. We don't have any O being fed through here. Why is, have I fed this to the wrong place? I have. I can't remember what the bottom connector is on a um, does on a on a spaceship clamp. Um, but now we've got yeah now we've got the number being fed through. Um, what is the bottom O on a spaceship clamp? Yeah, do, 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 do. Circuit signal pass through. Spaceship clamps have a power power and circuit network connection in the upper corner. Oh, right, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe you can... Maybe it feeds that signal out? I don't know. It's not connected to the network, so it, won't, it probably might not give out the, the options. Let's try that. Maybe it's for future future things that haven't been done yet. There we go. <laughs> it's that 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 is now correct anyway, which is what matters. We can set this train back over to automatic. It's not full yet, but that's fine. Um, this ship will now just sit here. I'm gonna I'm going to hang around here and wait until the other ship has got back onto the. Um, until the other train has got back onto the ship, just to make sure it doesn't spontaneously take off, despite my instructions. Um, let's have a look at Norvis, because it looks like we've got the same problem again. Yes, we have. Yeah, I made the mistake here of putting... Oh, the, the coal... No! Well, we have, but also the coal has backed up. Oh, that's taking it down. Interesting. Um, very interesting, actually, because I thought coal was a thing I had a massive and spectacular shortage of because I was getting through m huge quantities of it over here in order to make plastic. But apparently the plastic has backed up as well. We're obviously not doing enough s tech in general to get through all of the stuff that's being brought in. Interesting. Oh, true. Yes, there is the um, the little power pole thing. What's the, oh, that's the new there is the, the area. There is the add-on power pole. I've, I don't know. I've not really started using them anywhere and I'm not quite sure why not. I don't have a particularly good reason for it. Um, but because I haven't really started using it anywhere, I haven't got any. <laughs> 81,000. So that's 500. 2,000. 2,000 per wagon. The six long. So that 81,000 ore that's sitting in the um, the warehouses on Norvis is about... Wow. 
is a good six or seven trains worth. We need to start. I need to start using copper up at a bit, bit of a faster. I need to start using everything up at a faster rate. Apparently, can I do some? Can I do some research that's just going to pull through lots and lots of resources? Like, um, yeah, sure. Let's have a dexterity upgrade and productivity module eight. And I don't. Well, I suppose I could, I could do that as well. I guess. Um, oh, mining productivity. That's oh, no, that's 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 a load of deep space science. I don't want to do any of the deep space science requiring ones yet. Um, because I want to think about those a little bit more, because I do have a shortage of the resources for those. Um, but yeah, doing those will that'll that'll uh, set my factory running and use up some stuff. Aren't you full yet? Practically. These yeah, this is a very very copper heavy process. I'm I'm. Given that I set this up because I was short of copper, this is this is a good thing. This is great. Um, <clears throat> however, um, I didn't put limits on it, which is a bit of a mistake. How are you doing? Uh, still quite a long way to go. And it's coming in quite quickly, but yeah. So I put cop copper filtered inserters on gear off, and I did that ages ago. Copper control on Norvis, I've done that. Big Naquium ship. <sighs> Not doing that right now. Um, uranium. I've, I've, yeah, I had plans to 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 get a better supply of uranium, but again, not doing that just yet. So I think I've done most of the little things I was wanting to pick off. Now, 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 the next thing is to go back in and have a look at the um the deep space science production system and try and just sort of streamline it a little bit and make things work a bit more efficiently and effectively, and just generally work a bit better. I still kind of want to watch this finish, though, <laughs> even though it's a bit watching paint dry. It's just watching a train, well, watching a train fill, which is almost as bad as watching paint dry. <laughs> uh, um, yes. Oh, it didn't want it to do that because that's going to that's going to fill up with. Um, yeah, it's got enough copper in already. Let's take. Wasn't that one? It was this one. But again, it's got basically enough copper in. So it's no, yes, that one. <laughs> there we go. It's full. Oh no, it's not. There's a little bit. We need a little bit more stone. I've got to say. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Uh, I could probably take that one out, and it would. There's almost a full stack of um, that of copper. There is a full stack of copper in there now. Let's do that. It'd be quicker. So now you should be full. And we're still waiting for something down here as well. What? There we go. Full. Right. <laughs> After all that. So this should now run around here. Park in the um, in the spaceship. And the spaceship shouldn't go. Face palm. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Um, I thought it was so simple. Um, well, delete. Squib. Ah, so it was this one here, wasn't it? It got the f got up to apparently got up to four inputs somehow. Thank you. Um, I will. Oh, it says reconnection successful. So fingers crossed it'll come back in a moment. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. I'm just not. I'm going to try and not say anything too consequential <laughs> until it actually starts bloody working again. Um, it says it's reconnected, but I do still have a flashing red light in um, in OBS. Uh, so I guess we'll just stare at. It. I guess I'll have I'll have a look at this and see if I can work out why this got its four inputs. Um. So this one, output signal one, sure. This one, we're on the planet, yeah. This one. Um. Up. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Good. Thank you. So it didn't work. The um the spaceship took off again, even though I was fairly sure I'd set it up correctly, but apparently I hadn't. Um, so we had the checking more than 10,000 copper. Fine. Good. Yes. I mean, yes, that's correct. Checking for planet 520. Yes, it was on that one. That should have been, that should have been, been registering. 
Um, that one isn't anything to do with it. This one trains two. Yeah, sure. And then this one, O equals zero. This should have been. This should have, shouldn't have been. Uh, uh, shouldn't have been outputting a flag. So this one then picks up four. Have I counted properly? One, two, three, four. Oops. So why? Why did this? Why did this take off? Unless that's. That's not someone one, that's a one, that's a one, that's a one. I don't understand why that took off. That should have been should have been correct. Uh oh, hang on. No, I know where I went where, where I know where I went wrong. I didn't didn't connect up the input of this thing. There's nothing on the inputs there. This this should have all of that stuff on the input, but it didn't because I forgot a cable. Oh, there we go. Now that should probably work next time. <sighs> Hang on, that still doesn't. No, no, it does explain why it took off. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, yeah. So there's going to be even more, even more. Um, maybe I'll just stop this ship here. So in the future, when I'm wondering why I don't have any um, any copper. It's because I've turned this ship off for the time being because there's so much copper down on Norvis. I can't. I don't have space to deal with it. Um, I mean, I suppose what I could do. I was going to say I could put some of it into away in this, in this warehouse here. I don't know why I use the bots for that. There's a lot of stone in here as well, but once that's gone through, we're going to at least get rid of a lot of this ex excess. And hopefully, there's more stone coming through again. I think I've got inventory sorting on. So yeah, that there we go. That's pushed all of the copper to the bottom of the pile now, or the the first to come out. So yeah, we're going to end up with some stone in these warehouses, but sell a V. Um, and then once it starts to be lots and lots of stone, which it's about to be, oh, and OBS has gone again. And back, yep, back. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not a bad idea. I, I could send it back to the uh, back to the copper planet. Um, if the uh, let's have a look, see if there is enough fuel on it. Uh, what was it called? The um, gear off and core. How much fuel do we have? Oh, we've got loads. Yeah, let's do that. Um, taking off from Norvis is the big difficult part. Um, but I think that should be enough, and I can always go in and patch it up if I have to. Um, yeah, the taking off from different planets thing, because there isn't a schedule as such, there's just rules about places, it shouldn't matter. Oh, actually, no, it might do weird things with the trains. No, 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 I'm scared of that. <laughs> the trains the trains are enough of a headache as it is, so no, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just pause it, I think, um, and have it just sit here in space. No, my, my, my worry isn't isn't about oh yeah, yeah that's true. Um my worry is mostly about the trains and yes I could go in and fiddle them but I'm more likely to make a mistake there and then not realise for too long and it's just gonna be awkward and unpleasant and no. I think I'll just leave it uh leave it just floating drifting there in space. Cause everything all the other one all the other ships are bringing in many other things. Yeah, but they might they shouldn't leave, but they might just be in the wrong place in their schedule and that might cause problems later. It just, it just doesn't feel worth the risk somehow. <laughs> Can I bring another thing of copper over, a train of copper? Yes, I could bring a copper train over here. I could bring several copper trains over here. Let's get some more copper brought over by the, by the LTN system. I've got a lot of storage space in here and I'm not using very much of it. So I think I, I don't feel too bad about using this as a bit of a buffer. Um, hello? We've got minus 30,000 there. This should trigger. Oh, there we go, it's triggered. I think sometimes I'm a little bit impatient with LTN and it should be. Why is it not picking it up from here? 
What? No wonder I've got too much copper if that's what's happening. Oh. Do I not have a priority set? Oh. Oh, fiddles. And other disgruntled noises. I didn't connect that back in. Oh. Bloody hell. Depot. You. Apache. Uh, That's interesting. Since it doesn't seem to be filling up properly. Uh, the, the, the obviously this, this patch is completely empty, clearly. Um, how do I... Is it that button? Yes. Right, okay. So some funny business has gone over here because it's basically it's the end of the um, end of the amount of stuff available at this station. Alright, let's just send that on to, uh, to drop that off. Yeah, you're probably you're probably right. I am just being a little bit cowardly about it, but I've I've had enough problems. That I don't want to, I don't really want to encourage more. <laughs> I think. Now what? Now what you do? How, what do you? No, don't go there. <laughs> what have I told you? Stop that. And you, don't go there. Don't go to the copper mines. This one is supposed to be prioritised. Look, see this priority here. See this this priority here, four thousand means go here. <laughs> oh no, I know why it's wrong. Ah, uh... right. Take um, n plus several. Right. At least I've worked I've worked out what the problem is. At least so that's um, good. Right. Setting back to depot. Waiting. Yeah. This this is this is all fine. This is now putting a little bit more in there, but that's fine. There's room for like six trains worth to drop off here. Just take some of this copper away. <laughs> Goodness sake. All right, if that goes yellow without that going yellow, I shall be um, unimpressed. But I think, it, yep, there we go. That's both of them. Now, what it might have done is sent out multiple trains. And uh, almost certainly not. No. <laughs> Let's set a train limit. Um, max trains one get done so this can roll around a few times that's trying to go to a copper mine yep it didn't note didn't pick up on the on the additional addition of that train limit thing which is a bit weird but oh well right so we're getting some of it out of here anyway which is the most important thing at this point because i need to just deal with some of this just deal with all as much of this copper as i can um and these disconnections as well ideally Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and empty these. I think. I'm not 100% sure what I'm trying to do here. I think I'm trying to... Yeah, I want to get this copper out into here as much as possible. Into these... I want these to be fairly full. But I want to get empty the... I don't know what I want to do. It occurs... This, hmm, I don't know if this, no, the, the, the system I've put in, actually, come to think of it, is only going to work when it's too late. So at the point that there is copper backing up in here, these will stop unloading copper. Oh, sorry, these will stop getting more copper brought out. But by that point, it's too late because this is already jammed with copper all the way up to here. I actually need to link this, all of this storage in and say, if there's more than a um, 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 thousand copper in here, then don't ship it out. So actually what I think I need to do is link these up and somehow get that signal over here. Uh, so maybe a few of these there, there, There. <laughs> there. There. And there. 
and then as they get built, I can, yeah, I can run a green wire out there. So, yeah, because otherwise, yeah, otherwise it's going to, it's going, it's not going to stop the, the ships coming in from gear often until this is, until there's already some copper in here, which as I said means it's already too late because that, because if there's copper in here, that means the copper through here is all overflowed. So, what I probably actually need is a more intelligent um, unlo unloading system from the um, what I probably need is a more intelligent unloading system from here that will only output things from these where these will only output appropriate things that there is room for over here and then to have the the previous system as I mentioned um, but I haven't well I, I suppose I could I could build that up actually that'd be quite neat um, yeah let's think about that for the future <laughs> um, over here then we do okay that's times one but the output now what we've we got coming in here 156,000 um, so 512, the six, the six warehouses that I don't want, let's say I don't want them to be more than half full. So that's 250 stacks in each times six. So that's 1500, 1500 stacks, which is 750 times 100, 75,000. So I don't want the spaceship to take off unless there's under 75,000. Oh, and I need to put a green cable through here as well. Will this, oh, this will translate between the two, won't it? Is that right? So if I've got a green cable coming in here and a red cable going out. Let's find out. Yes, good. So what does it say? 75,000. Yeah, 75,000. 750, 750 double stacks. 75,000, yes. Um, so you... Less than 75,000. Okay. So that will attempt to keep the, um, the warehouses down on Norvis no more than half full. Right. Okay. Uh, now let's go back to Norvis. There it is. And just undo that change I made up here, which is saying, oh, it is too... Oh, for goodness sake. It is too much. Don't make that 600,000. Make it 60,000. Make it 30, back down to 30,000, because that was a sensible number that was working before. Um, before I just overfilled all of my stuff, that's okay. It'll the, the train is just stuck there for now. Um, it'll it'll have to wait. But I put things back to sensible values, sensible normal values. There is still an enormous quantity of copper ore flowing out of here, so this is going to take, be a very very long time to fix. Uh, how are you guys doing? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six stacks, 600 stacks of copper of, or of space there. Yeah, that ain't going to work. <laughs> that ain't going to fit. All right, we're just going to have to leave it in this sort of somewhat stuck state, unfortunately. Uh, oh, you're true. A power cut is possible. Um... That's a good point. Yes, this should be set. the the The, the multiplier thing should, should should be in here and should be saying, um, yeah, should be should, there should be a minus seventy five thousand in here. That's a good point. Um, I can probably do that. I probably got arithmetic combinators on Norvis. I expect. Let's find out. Yes, just need to wait for it to be delivered. Yeah, that's a very good point. So there we can put, put minus 75,000 there and then in the gear off and ship. Only when O is 
less. I had that the wrong way round. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> less than zero. If O is less than zero, so O is O is the proxy for the amount of copper, copper ore, it'll be taken down to, yeah, so when that, yes, we'll subtract 75,000 from it, yeah, when that goes negative, yes, it will. That, that, should, that should work. Uh, back to Norvis. Has that been put in? Yes, it has. Um, and also, actually, let's do that. So, um, copper ore minus 75,000. I want to carry on outputting this as copper ore. I could do all this in one step, actually, and have O, but I think this is probably better. It keeps the signals easier to understand at the other end. So now that should be. I don't. That, yeah, that's pointless now. Let's get rid of that and let's put in a green one instead. There we go. So we, know. So we have. Yeah, we now have a large positive. Still have a large positive number there, even with the minus seventy-five thousand. So that's good and expected. And then here, we also have a large positive number on the O's, and we're looking for less than. Okay, right. Fingers crossed, that's all good. Um, we do have still have a ridiculous quantity of um, copper ore, both on Norvis and just floating in deep space, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and we've also got too much coal, which is a bit bizarre, because, as I said, I was, n I was under the impression that coal was one of the things we had a major shortage of. Clearly, I need to go in here and put in, basically put in uh, warehouses for everything. Um, but... Oh, well, what can you do? Um, we'll try and empty these out whenever whenever we are actually vaguely able to, which would be when these finally empty, if they ever do. Um, yeah. But until then, we'll just pump the uh, remaining copper ore into these things. Okay, so I think that is sort of okay. Um, uh, get ship moving when safe um yeah an iron ore is something we are short of so that's um well there's 32,000 in there but that's about to almost all disappear oh and there goes a the connection again Bloody hell. Uh, so yeah that's being picked the, the all the iron ore is being got through which is uh, a bit of a shame we could do with a bit more of that apparently um uh are you back up again yet no i don't think you are come on twitch come on internet connection come on just just generally come on stop being terrible <sighs> Okay, ping times are back down to are back where they should be now. So hopefully that should mean it'll start working. Um, yep, I'm getting getting readings from OBS now. Um, I'm getting. Oh no, it still, it still looks like I'm on Miokin, but I've not. I'm not caring about that basically. Um, it's probably back up again now. Um, I'm just not quite sure whether you guys can tell yet, so I'll just carry on talking for a minute or two first. So I did notice um, while the connection was down that the, um, the 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 iron ore from here is under under high demand as well. So that's as you can see, it's now down to well, it's, there's 26,000 left in there actually, which isn't too bad. Um, but a train has just been through and picked up some from here. Okay, hopefully the laggy. Oh dear, no, the it's it's gone bad again. I think. Um, yeah, I'm getting packet drop again. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just, um, wait a moment or, t or five. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um talk amongst yourselves I suppose while I oh, oh we're getting some packets through again now um oh no only some only some of them <laughs> uh 
Well, I've done about a hundred. Did about 100 pings and 25% packet loss, so yay. Um, that's not really what I want. Uh, oh, now it seems to be working. Uh, all these pings are getting through, which is a good start. I mean, you know, all the, those massive data packets that are that are uh, are pings. Um, but that seems seem to be on the sort of the back swing back down again to uh, to normality but uh, OBS has not hasn't actually started streaming again yet so I'm just gonna sit here and grumble at it um, and, and, and and grumble until it starts working again um, if you're watching this as a recording afterwards I am um, well I, I don't know what I can do apart from apologize it's just a bit dismal I'll you know I'll pause it there we go um, hmm Ooh, 50% packet loss now. Oh, there's some pings. That's a good start. I mean, they're still up at 40 seconds, 40 milliseconds, which is a bit, a bit more than they're meant to be. Oh, got a tiny bit of data through to, uh, through from OBS, but <sighs> oh, it thinks it's reconnected. That's impressive. Right. Okay, we're getting about two and a half megabits of um, data through to uh, to, to uh, Twitch now. So, uh, so. That looks like things should be back up again. Great. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lawrence. Gets very frustrated with his internet connection. As I was saying earlier, I've been I have been having a go at my ISP and saying, "Hey, come and sort it out. This isn't this isn't acceptable." And as far as I can tell, they're basically they're basically saying, "Well, if it, well, we've done some thing, we've done some things, we've looked at some things, we've." made some sort of magical incantations. I don't know. Put up some sort of monitoring system on my on my uh, router. Um, and come back on Saturday if it's still not working. So, yeah, I shall probably be getting back to them by then. Although, um, while you weren't looking, um, <clears throat> and I'm fully aware that's not your fault, we had a train come in here to pick up some iron ore, and another train come, came in, just left, you probably did see that one, came in to pick up some coal. So now everything's running again. Uh, we've got a load of copper flooding through here, load of copper flooding up here. So it's probably going to be okay for a moment or few. Um, until the copper jams up again. In fact, you know what? Let's do that because the copper overload is causing. I think it's causing enough of a problem that it's going to. It's going to cause the um the the core fragment the core uh, fragment processing to back up. And I don't want that to happen. I want that to be used. I want the um I want this to come through when when this is low basically. And so that's sort of what I'm trying to get at with all of the logic I've been putting in. Oh, oh dear, that doesn't look promising. I saw a zero. And oh, maybe it's working. Maybe it's working. Hard to tell. Um, so yeah, that was what I was doing with all of the logic I was putting in here. We're trying to get the uh, the copper to only be be brought in when there's a shortage of it. Um, and yeah, maybe what what I could do, I could come and come in here and I could put in. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what the best way to do this would be. I could put in separate filter exerters to to um, outload different output all the different things separately, and then have a, a rank of um, six belts come across here, um, and then split them all out as they go up here. And that would, I mean, at the moment I say six belts. At the moment it's only two: one for stone and one for copper. Um, provide a little bit of extra safety. But then, if this is down to if this drops down to to um, only half full. Then there should be room for a copper spaceship to arrive. So I think I don't need to do that. I think this should be. I think this system should work. Now that I've now that I've got the um the minus seventy five thousand uh yeah seventy five thousand in there. 
does everything I've been saying make sense or have other obvious bits I've missed out? One thing I did do, which is important, is I, I, I rotated this belt in here just to stop the, stop the flow of copper and because I'm pretty sure that these, yeah, these are going to fill up quite soon, even just off the output from here. So I want to keep this running for as long as possible. Hopefully we'll start to get through the crazy, crazy quantities of copper that we always used to get through. Um, and then I'll be able to sort of get get yeah just get things rolling again but at the moment we've got well this until this train goes and actually it's oh because i filled all of these up it's going to be quite a long time until this train goes and even after the train goes it's going to be quite a long time until these drop down to the point where they're ready to call another train so actually i've just sort of pushed the problem a little bit further down the um down out out of sight um but i think I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Um, oh, here's another one wanting some iron. <laughs> yeah, iron is in very, very high demand at the moment, it seems. Um, probably because everything that needs copper has been filled up. I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to need to set up an, an external iron mining system at some point. And basically what I'm going to do is use the same system I'm using here, but on an on an asteroid because I don't have any iron mines. And I've got, there's one out there with about 9 million iron on it or something crazy like that. Or was it 100 million iron? I forget. Um, and I'm aware that all of my mines on this planet are going to be gradually running out. And I don't really want to have to go out and start to find more of them. Oh, there's some copper. Actually, there's a decent chunk of iron there. I could go, I could go off, if I had to, I could go off and claim that one. But... I don't really want to. Um, oh, there's some, iron, there's some iron up here. We've got how much? Two million there. Is this one? And this one is full. So, yeah, okay. Things are probably okay. Anyway, let's stop babbling about all of that. Let's get out of here, head back to Norvis Orbit, and see if there's time to and try and work out what the next thing I want to do is. So, yes, it was, oh, yes, it was um, sorting out the all of the inputs for the Deep Space Science 1. Um, and I'm going to need, uh, so I need more ion stream. Now to got oil, that should be fine. So we can check that the oil th oil system is all up and, and happy. Um, and then I can go over and make sure that that's, we've got enough um, orange goo coming through. And therefore that's making enough for the ion stream. And the, and also make sure there's enough um, Nevus orbit. What? I don't want to go to Nevus. <laughs> I mean, I, I know the keys are like right next to each other, but that wasn't where I meant to go at all. Uh, no, don't go to Norvis either. Go to Norvis Orbit. Oh, bloody neck. Attention to detail, Lawrence. Attention to detail. Right. So, uh, yes. Got, still got a minute and a half of where... Um, I, I thought I'd spent all the time talking about the where I was going in a sensible way, but no, I accidentally went to... Uh, at least Nevis is on the way from gear off and to Norvis, so I mean it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> Nevis could have been out here somewhere, and then I'd have been even more upset, or even worse, in a completely different solar system. Uh, I might have noticed that when it said ten minutes estimated time to get there. <laughs> well, the good news is my ping se ping time seem to have dropped back down to about well, they're all under fifty milliseconds. Some are there are a few under ten, um, mostly under thirty as well. So. It seems to be acceptable at the moment. I do actually have a have a functioning connection for now, but it remains to be seen how long that lasts for. Is the volcano parked there because there's a volcano two on down on the planet? I hope so. Um, volcano goes to here. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. So we've got oodles of um, this stuff. Um, what even is that? Vulcanite, yeah. So, so that's okay. That, that's all right. There's there's a good reason for that ship to be parked there. That's acceptable. Oh, 10 seconds away now. Nearly there. Doodle 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 doo. And bloop. There we go. Right. So let's have. First off, let's turn that off because I don't like having those colored things over all over the place. Oh. I thought it. I didn't notice any problems there, but um, okay. The interesting because the um, I was only getting 0.8% packet loss, so um, uh, maybe the connection was struggling. But it it looks okay at the moment, but we'll see how it, we'll see what happens. Ooh, or there is no no oil here. That's interesting. Why is there no oil here? Uh, let's investigate the um, hecking chonko. What was it called? Beefy tanker. Why is it sitting there? Oh, 
because I didn't set any numbers in here. This is a recurring problem, apparently, um, or a recur recurring fail. So this is currently on its way back to Asalia, um, and it'll take like eight seconds to get there. Um, but that means there's no oil in, in Norvis orbit, which is a little bit annoying. However, this will mean I'll get to see how quickly this refills when everything is in its ideal position. So these tanks are all full. These tanks are, well, who cares what those tanks do? These tanks are basically all full. So we can just pump this through as fast as the ship, will, as fast as the system will let it. So as you can see, these are filling up pretty quickly. And the fact that these are filling up even though they're draining through is also quite impressive. Uh, these ones on the other side, 10%. It's, it's not so great, but it's doing its best. <laughs> 17, 18, 19. So, how much have we got in here in in, in, in total? We're, we're looking we're looking for um we're looking for seven hundred thousand, and we've got we've got halfway now. Well, now we've got halfway. Which um, okay, the first half is going to be a lot easier than the second half because once these fill up, and then these ones, and the, the gradients get smaller, it's going to be a bit slower. But for now it's going pretty well and these have still got these have still got some in which is the important thing because as long as there's some in on this side the pumps will pull from them at full rate i believe i say full rate this is dropping all right maybe my understanding of factorio fluid isn't quite as good as i hoped it would be um oh maybe it's because these are nearly f i don't know hmm. i'm not sure why this is only running at at, at, a, at a rapidly dropping speed um that said we are now at 530 that's so it is still going in pretty quickly yes it's not quite as fast as it was initially but it's going in more than fast enough we've got more than half a million um rocket fuel as well these are all more than 90 percent full which is good these are at 17,000. there isn't a lot i can do about this unless i mean what i what i need is um stretchy tanks so like like there's there's one of the kerbal space program mods has a system where you can put in a um a fuel tank and you can stretch it and stretch it and stretch it so it gets bigger make it whatever size you like and the bigger you make it obviously the physically bigger it is the heavier it gets but the more fuel you can fit in it so i so what if i if i had something like that i could just turn this entire area into one massive tank with ideally lots of ports to fill it up from and then maybe that'd be better i don't know so they're all over 20,000 now. So we are we have to be more than 80% full. These ones are near virtually full. So we're probably I would say if these ones are at 80% and these ones are at 100% roughly, then that means the whole thing is at about 90%. So that's pretty good. We're at 668, 669, 670. The ship will take off fairly soon. Okay. So that this is it's not quite as quick as I would ideally like it to be. Maybe maybe what I should have done is put in more and put in another set of tanks over on this side and pumped in this way as well <laughs> just to get it coming in from both sides um in fact that's not impossible um let's sort of plot that out and then next time i come out here i can build it so if I do that and then i need to make sure i don't encroach on the uh, the other the other fuel ship on this side but if we put in that over here plip, there we go it's gone so if i put that in there I don't know how big the ship was now. I need to sort of make sure I can go all the way around the nose of it, but oh well, never mind. But that only needs to be a single pipe because it'll only be pumping round when the um that's quick. Uh when the rest when the um it'll only be pumping it round when there's another when the ship isn't there, so it doesn't really matter. There's nowhere to put more pumps, that's the problem. I mean, I, unless if I could yes, okay, I could put them inside in the middle inside the ship. Um but unless I start losing tanks and therefore losing capacity and storage space, then there's nowhere to put them. Uh, I could put them down. I suppose I could put, I could remove the uh, solar panels or make the ship a little bit longer and put them along across the bottom. But that's no help because pumping it. If I pumped all the oil across from this side to this side, which which would would help if it was unload. It would only, that would only help if it was unloading from this side. And it's not. It's not, it's loading and unloading both on the right. So all starboard, perhaps I should say. But maybe it'll be okay now. We shall see. Possibly what I need is pumps pushing the oil up this way, but yeah. 
we uh, I don't know. These do seem to be running. This is running. We have we have loads of chemical gel up here. So the the problem is sorted anyway. We we've got we have we have fixed it. We just need to get just just need a ship to run back and forth a bit quicker. Okay, so let's oh what, what's the next thing? So that means over here no over down down here yes these should all be happy happily running because they've got all of the uh, plasma stream they need so they're, they're um, all of the no all of the uh, chemical gel they've got enough chemical gel so we're kicking out plasma stream at a rate this tank is full these tanks are full right we have well nearly full are these all running it's kind of hard to tell with these machines oh okay this is one at the end is running apparently I don't know why these other ones aren't um, oh, because they're, they're full on the output, that's why, I guess. Um, oh, they are all running now. Okay, fair enough. Watch clock apparently does boil. So, yeah, but the most important thing being, we've, these tanks are basically full, this tank is, is basically full, so this system all seems to be okay now. We've got all three of, all three of these are running. These things are coming around. I mean, they're coming around, they're being immediately snatched up, but that's because I've got the right number of machines in here to build them at the same rate they're being demanded down here. So the fact that these are all running means we're okay. If we look over here, how are we doing How are we doing for these things? 803. Oh, there's a shortage of electricity. Right, okay, that's something I need to come over here and do then. So even with all of this up here, it's still, blimey, it's still not enough by a long way. Oh, it's these um, particle accelerators. They're using crazy amounts of power. I think... Right, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is fly over there. And the second thing I'm going to do is put in some more efficiency modules. I'm going to take some of the speed modules out and put in efficiency modules instead because they are using a silly, silly amount of power at the moment. And yeah, okay, I'll probably put in some more um, more solar panels as well, but I think it's probably a bit excessive as it is. So this, yes, here we are. Down here. It's these particle accelerators, they're just really, really power hungry. So if I take out one of them, put in one of them. Um, and apparently I've landed on it, so I can't do anything else. Just take out the speed modules. And then put in these. Bom, 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 bom. That's taking it down to... Oh, it's minus 70% now, that's pretty good. Um, so that means we are now at now we're using <laughs> so just doing that has dropped it down from um, using one, wanting 1.6 gigawatts to a literally a quarter of the amount of power. Wow. Solar is cheap, yeah, um, but that was ex that was genuinely excessive for the amount of for the amount of um, ion stream. You know what? I might be about to just um, eat my words there because <laughs> this is now. Um, apparently no longer fast enough however i think i wonder how much of a difference i made on the speed of these things so that's gone from running at uh 3.4 to 3.8 that's not that big a difference to be using literally seven times as much power that's just not worth it um might as well put in more of these machines at this point um and I can get four of them in around one of these easily enough. I don't have any with me, sure, but you know that's um, that's a minor point. So that goes there. Um, let's take those out. Is that enough? Yep, that'll fit. That there, and then underneath these like that. Have you got enough? Oh yeah, I could fit in one more over here as well. Oh, that's why there's a. That's why there's only four around this one, because that gets in the way there. It's a shame that that doesn't feed through. It really is. Um, but if I put a pipe here, you can see nothing, nothing goes on it. It's enough to cause problems if you try and link it up to something else, but it's not good enough to actually feed the stuff through. Um, now, what? It, how about, actually... I'm undoing stuff I didn't want to undo. Never mind. Uh, what if I put that in there? And uh, not you two again. Oh, actually, it doesn't doesn't need it this time. Then I could put that there and bring this in from the top. 
like so. And now I don't need to have that one there and we don't have the interference from this thing. And I can put a fifth one on the end of here. How are you doing? 20,000. Okay, let's flip back, all the way back again. We'll get three more of those particle accelerators. It, you say it, it works, but you get then you get mixed um, fluid, uh, mixed mixed types of fluid in 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 a, in a, in a thingy, <clears throat> and that causes problems. And then when you try and place anything later by hand, it doesn't work. Oh yeah, there's still a little bit more um, building building to do down there, down under. Um, <laughs> still a bit build, building to do down under, Miss Down Under. Yes, that one. Um, there's some, uh, a little bit more to do down there. I just wanted to go and get the um, the machine so I can drop them in before I in order to finish it off. Uh, here we go. Plump. So put those down, and then yeah, as as you say, that needs to go in there. Um, but also. I want to put in an extra one over here. It's it causes problems and headaches and dismay and anger and <laughs> other other things that I don't don't want to think about. So I'm um, yeah. I'm going to just generally be a little bit careful with it and try not to link them even if technically it works. I know technically correct is the best kind of correct, but sometimes it's also the most stressful kind of correct. And the interesting thing is these are all packed full of um, speed modules and they're not even keeping up. Blimey. Um, however, they're not using enough power for it to be worth for me to go, well, actually, I should go in and, and do something about that. Because even, even with them packed full of speed modules, they're still only using half the power that all of these um, particle accelerators are using. That's, that's amazing. Um, it does occur to me now that I need more of these, which is frustrating. I should have got them when I flew flew back over the, the previous time. Um, but uh, hmm. how can that be? actually? How can that be? Because these were this had, but this had all of these tanks full just now, and then I made these slow, slower, and then made them a little bit faster again by putting in more. So how can this be low? Oh, we've run out of... No, we haven't run out of chem gel. No, you can't use productivity modules in space with a couple of exceptions. But basically, you can't use productivity modules in space. So, no, unfortunately, they can't help. <laughs> I could put... I could put more speed modules in these. I could just... Get, why is that... Why is that... I don't understand. I don't understand why that's going down when it wasn't before. Oh, yes, I do. Because all the all the other machines are running faster now because there's enough power for them. That's why. Okay. All right. That's a thing. A thing to put on my mental to do list um, is that I am going to need more um, more of these plasma generators at some point because this is using a crazy crazy amount of plasma. Um, but the other thing I wanted to check was the um, naquium supplies around here. So where's that being brought in? Here. But, apparently, but also apparently not. It's not being brought in. Um, is there much up here? Yes. So we do have Naquium up here, but only mm, there's none in the station, but there's some on the belt. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Why are you? Oh, you are running. You're just running very, very slowly. Okay. What about... So, right. So the, the Naquium supply is still a problem. Let's have a look and see where the bottleneck is for that. So we've got... 15,000 of it here uh, and that means why am I doing that that means these are nearly full okay so the naquium being brought to here is not currently a problem uh, there's an aquifer 2 on its way out and the aquifer 1 is just about arriving in order to pick up some more okay so it looks like the the, um, the bottleneck is in the in the, uh, the, the, the there and knack again steps the, the bits that's taking it to um to tulip to be processed or possibly in the processing that's happening on tulip oh yeah miners i forgot about them 
yes, the um, yeah, the, I, I was aware that the labs took productivity modules, but I'd forgotten about the miners. Okay, so this is all ground to a halt. Is this the uh, vital yes, it's the vitalic acid problem again, which is the glass problem, which I thought I'd fixed, but apparently not. Oh yes, I hadn't fixed it there. I, just, I needed to put in more of these on this input. Ah, uh, blooming neck. <laughs> right. Okay. So I need to go off to Tulip, and I need to find somewhere to cram in a lot more of this. I also need to take a massive pile of blue belts with me to upgrade this. I think. Um. Okay. So I could put in another copy two copies of it in here i reckon and if i adjust this belt to go around have it come across here and then up and i could probably put several more of that in although then run into these pipes which i clearly oh no the, they are going places but they oh the begin that that oil one certainly could come across here the water one Again, probably could. Could be di diverted. Okay, let's head over to Tulip and sort out this glass problem because that is currently my bottleneck for making Naquium. Of all the ridiculous things, the um, the Naquium shortage is entirely because I don't have enough glass being brought through um, on that planet. Yeah, there's a, a few of the rules are different in space. Little things like having to put down a scaffolding absolutely everywhere in order to um, to build anything at all. Um, and then other things like productivity modules not going everywhere you expect them to and that sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's a bit of a change. Right, let's get some um, blue belts into my inventory so I can get that upgraded. Um, blue belts, let's have like a thousand of those. Let's, all of this, no, all of this, mm, I don't know. Maybe I can get rid of some of the little, little extra bits of some of these and free up some inventory space. See what I can get rid of. Um, like that. I certainly don't need those. Or that. Or, oh, I do need that, apparently. <laughs> don't need that. Don't need that. Stop requesting, stop requesting low density structures. Um, Let's have some blue undergrounds as well. I don't think I need very many of them, but I want a few. And then to make, let's see, to make glass, I need a load of assembly machines to do the crushing. I'm just assuming I have all of this stuff available up here, which is um, slightly optimistic, but it seems to be okay because I've dumped my inventory so many times into the system up here <laughs> that I can just ask for all kind, all this sort of ground-based stuff and it just turns up. Lovely. Um, and some furnaces as well. 50 is a bit overkill, but yeah, never mind. Yeah, don't need bricks. I don't really need landfill, but it seems to just sort of live in my uh, in my inventory. Am I really requesting a hundred um, pylons? No, I can't see any requests for them. Let's get rid of some of those. And apparently, I am. Yeah, there's the big ones. There's the really big ones. Oh, there, there it is. Get rid of that. I'll keep fifty of them because you never know. Right, that is all of the things. Let's go to Tulip. I know I sort of said, said, well, maybe I'll get some, um, get some more, de get Deep Space Science Two underway this time. But um, <laughs> no, that was a little over optimistic, I think. <laughs> the uh, yeah, and it looks like the Naquium itself is coming in just about well just about fast enough for now um but yeah only for now <laughs> oh and i've run out of stone on tulip oh do i have mining drills yes i believe i do i've got core mining drills um i'm sure i saw some big large area mining drills last time i looked in here because it looks like i might be going to need to go out and build another um, another stone mine Uh, 
and I didn't plan for that because that would mean planning and planning is apparently my weak point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's there's always more yaks available to uh, to de derail every, all, all all your cunning plans. Um let's take some of those though. Cuz I keep wanting them. There's pump jacks. But I don't see any any mining drills. That's annoying. Am I being completely and utterly blind? And they're in here because I've thought I saw some in here, but it might have been a different ship or a different. I left them in my other trousers. Um, no, I think they're not there. That's a shame. Are there any in my inventory? No, that'd be silly. It's pretty big. Um, how about, how about, there's two of them fairly close together. So we've got this one, uh, 2.8 million. This one at 4.2 million. Uh, so that's five, six, 7 million in total. And there's another almost 7 million over there. Almost none there. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu, some down here. But these ones, these ones are going to be a little bit more effort to get to. Um, I mean, yeah, okay, actually, I probably could run a belt out there and, uh, and a series of power poles. So it wouldn't be too difficult. Uh, oh, and a pipes as well. So I mean, it, getting out, getting this one would be manageable, but it'd be a little bit annoying to do. Oh right, yeah. I'm. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Since I'm heading out to Tulip, I should probably check for um, biters. <laughs> uh, let's not land quite there. Let's land over here. Plump. Oh, and OBS is disconnected again. Lovely. Well, I'll have a quick look around for biters while we're uh, waiting for it to, to reconnect. What's that? That's a laser pillbox. It's fine. Yeah, so far I seem to be okay for biters. Um, <laughs> your warning not with what we're standing. <laughs> but I haven't dared push back and look at look any further out yet. So um, yeah, we shall see. There's some some partial connection. Ooh, uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, looks like it's. Prom uh, I think it's back. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to. Uh, yes, my. Welcome back to my crap internet. <sighs> I'm um, trying to get it sorted, as I said, and just please bear with me. That's all I can say, really. Um, at least the videos I put up will should run smoothly because they're not. They're, it's only the upload that's um, that relies on my internet. <laughs> uh. So yeah, after what Tristan said, I thought I'd have a quick look around on Tulip to see if there are any biters in sight. There don't seem to be. We, I seem to be more or less okay so far. So, right, let's um, let's. So what was I going to? What was I saying? Oh yes. Yeah, so presumably that complaint I saw earlier. Yeah, this 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 stone mine over here is now basically dead. So I'm going to need more stone here. Ooh, or alternatively, I could import the glass by rocket. That might be a good idea. Hmm. Do I have a rocket landing pad in my spaceship? I mean, probably not, because that's old tech that I haven't used for ages. Do I have a rocket landing pad on this planet that I can repurpose? Uh, I've got some pl particle colliders in here for some reason. I'm almost surprised I don't have a, um, a landing pad in here. Oh, I do have a landing pad. Awesome. Right, so what we're going to do is stop using the stone here. The stop using the stone that comes off this train because that's just run out essentially. Uh you uh you will just cut you off like that. Great. And what we'll do here is put in a oh I'll have to deal with all of the rocket parts. Uh, that's annoying. And I could do it down here and then hmm feed it onto this belt <laughs> as a low priority and then pull it off this belt further up as a uh, onto one side yeah let's let's do let's do that let's put it down here because then at least i've got the rocket parts will go into here um and i can actually oh no i can't repurpose i can repurpose some of the stuff that's down there right yes i have a plan i have a cunning plan um and it'll probably work probably so we'll put this here and we'll call this 
glass drop. Glass from Norvis, apparently, is what we're calling this. And momentarily, a, pile of, a big pile of glass will arrive. I need to reprogram this to be dealing with glass, like so. Then what I said I'd do, given the amount of stone that's coming through, I think this is going to be fine. Let's put the glass on one side, stone on the other. It's going to unload really unevenly, but I don't care. Oh yeah, we also need these sort of shenaniganaries uh, to unload onto here. Oop, there's a rocket arriving with a load of glass. Excellent. Um, and a split ore. Right, that's what I was using on these. It doesn't really matter. And then we need to program these. So let's see. It's the um, the top side of the belt, which is this side, is to be the rocket parts. I've not done this for ages using rocket parts. <laughs> it's almost nostalgic. And then this side is to be the uh, rocket pod. That thing. There we go. And then this will all get fed down here into here where we can put it all put it all away and eventually this will be full enough to launch in fact it's very nearly full enough to launch this might be enough to launch it um and then it will go to nowhere hmm, great um rocket parts drop seems like a good place for that to go to and presumably we're now going to go we're now going to start generating fuel from somewhere oh we've got a nice little oil supply system over here excellent um this is all just working from um here's one i made earlier that's brilliant so up here, oh crap! I forgot to, I forgot I need to do the other end of this. Um, so yeah, here, dumbass. <laughs> we'll take the stone out to the left, um, and then the glass. Therefore, the glass out to the no, glass out to the right like this. Um, what's going on here? Oh, I remember. This was an earlier screw up. <laughs> There's always a new, another screw up. That's almost Sandersonish. Uh, right. Okay. So we can then uh, stop that. <laughs> bring this up like that. That'll bring all of that out. Uh, apparently, there's stuff built up in there. There we go. That's better. Um, oh wait, we don't actually need this. We'll just do that. <laughs> it's a bit crap because it's feeding all that all the way around there. But I do I care? I don't think I do. Oh wait, no, the priorities are wrong. I do care. So we need to then bring this. This needs to then be brought all the way up. Maybe I should have just split it off down here where it was split off. Yeah, let's let's do that just because otherwise it's a bit it, nasty. <laughs> there we go, like that. Feed that up there. I'll pick up all this because this is sort of fixing other things, other mistakes that have been made. Gather up all of that. Right, and then we bring this up here like this. And, oh, actually, that's, no, this is okay. I didn't need all of this, but, oh, I should, kind of do. Uh, kind of, I kind of needed to upgrade it anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm sort of okay with that. So what we'll do, we'll put the splitter in here, and we'll say, don't do that. We'll say prior, input priority from the right. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so what this will do, don't need any of this now. This should get all of my priorities correct um, once I feed this in here. So we have the first, if we, if we look from here, going backwards, the first priority is anything that comes up from here. And that's where we turn, that's, that's, that's what's, 
No, as my YouTube stream died completely. It usually usually YouTube then just starts another um, another video when um, when this sort of thing happens, um, and unfortunately I can't make it. I don't seem to be able to make it carry on with the same video, unfortunately. So if you look on my channel, there'll probably be about a dozen um, different uh, stream videos from this evening, which is extremely annoying. I'll uh, go in and replace them with a single one afterwards, basically. Sorry about that. Nothing I can do um, apart from swear at my ISP. Yeah, so over here we have this is this is where the glass goes in to get used up. The top priority is anything that comes in from this belt and it goes in across the top and that's where it gets used from for No it isn't. <clears throat> okay, so we need to make sure it all gets onto the bottom that side of it. Like there we go. So so anything that comes in from here gets used first because that's how I'm using up the uh, sand and any stone, yeah, sand and stone that's being generated by the Naquium processing. So that's very important to get rid of. The next one that gets used is the one that comes out of these um, these these uh, furnaces here, and that's coming from any stone. That's coming from crushing stone that's being generated by the um, by the core mining process down here, and is therefore free free stone. So I'm using the free stone. So I'm using the stuff that I have to use up first, the stuff that doesn't cost me anything second. And then the stuff that I'm bringing in by rocket is the sort of the the afterthought, the last minute backup, if nothing else is working or if nothing else is producing enough of it. Now, I say no, if nothing else is producing enough, of it, it's not producing enough of it because we're getting through a lot more glass than we actually need, than we're able to produce from the system. But this does keep these producing the vitalic acid at a decent rate. And hopefully it's almost enough to keep these running uh, flat out. So we are now processing the Naquium at a better rate than we were before. Um, the limiting factor is still this um, vitalic acid. So I guess the answer is I come along here and put in a bit more of the uh, vitalic acid production over here. Was that? Yes, I think that was a ship just taking off. Yes, it was. <laughs> one of these one of these take, just took off and, land, and then another one landed with uh, some more supplies. So, right, let's go and fix the next bottleneck. Actually, first, let's put in another pylon or two over here because these lasers were unpowered. I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know I'm having really bad internet. Thank, thank you for pointing out the extremely obvious there. It just it disconnects again. Thank you for pointing out the very, very obvious there, Arctic. Um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that I'm having very, very bad internet at the moment. Um, it's a bit out of my hands, unfortunately. I mean, I'm, I want to say I'm doing everything I can to get it fixed. Um, I mean, that's not necessarily quite true. I suppose I could technically I could switch back to Plusnet because they are a better ISP, a more reliable ISP. But I'm hoping that Virgin are going to just sort their lives out and I'll be able to get both the speed and the reliability from them. But we shall see. OK, so that has um, bumped up the, the uh, production of vitalic acid to oh, to the point where we actually do ha now have um, a completely full belt there. Um, a complete full half belt, sorry. I don't have facilities up here to deal with any more than that coming through. Um, I think that is a slight improvement. I thought I originally designed this to be capable of taking in an entire blue belt of um, Naquitite and just pushing it all through the system, but um, it doesn't seem to be running quite as fast as I would have hoped. Um, the limiting factor is still, yes, it's still the vitalic acid. It's not quite made its way up to the top. Okay, let's, let's um, put it on both sides of the belt for one thing. So about... I'd say all of them. So okay, all of. Them. Let's put in a, a thing here that puts it onto the near side like this. There we go. So that now, if I can get a bit more of this uh, vitalic whatever that stuff is coming through, which comes from down here, 
And yes, there's definitely capacity for more of this. So let's cut that for a moment and then make a copy of a, maybe maybe this much. Put that in there. Have I got the crayons for this? I mean, parts for this. No. Um, but they are available on the um, on the planets, maybe. So at least a few of them are. Um, I, uh, I need some more power. That goes there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm still missing a few chemical plants for, for getting this up to full full whack at the uh, the extra um, boosted level. I'm trying. To, I'm now trying to do. Uh, are there any pla chemical plants on my spaceship? I didn't think of that when I was going. I didn't think of any of this when I came out here because, well, I w wasn't planning to do half of this. Oh, yes, there are. Excellent. I wasn't planning to do half of this stuff. No, I'm I'm still refusing to use the use the calculators because I'm lazy and I I don't really want to basically, um, because I, I suspect I'd probably end up measuring the wrong things and I'd still have the same sort of problems. Oh, now now this one belt of vitalic. What's what's name it isn't enough. Oh, here's a here's a convenient thing. I could split this belt down here if I had any splitters. Splitters? Splitters. Hello. Oh, there's one. Is this the same stuff? Yes it is. So I can put this in here. Do that. And that, and then try and find somewhere to cram this in. So what if I put that there instead, and then that goes, no, ah, that goes across there. Take out the tree, that one goes there. There we go, now we've got. Now we've got a lot more of this vitalic. I don't. I don't even know which vitalic what this is. But now we can make. So we hopefully we can make a lot more of the um, the acids. <laughs> it's only just. Yeah, the belt is only just fast enough for this. Um, I should probably put in a splitter and finagle another belt through. Um, put in another set of these. Yeah, let's do that. So copy um, all of this. Put it there. Separate. There we go. Um, don't want that. Do want that. Um, and then if I put in a splitter there, and at the point where it runs out, wherever that is, give it a moment. Yeah, about here, I reckon. Feed some more in. There we go. Right, that should be a decent whack more vitalic acid. <laughs> I wouldn't like to say, I'm afraid, Arctic Void, where, why, where, the Twitch, where the Twitch is, or YouTube, I don't know. This is all, it's all just a bit diff, struggling a bit at the moment because, well, because of my connection. Why are these not running? Oh, acid. Please be some more of these on the ground on the on the planet. <laughs> yeah, here, here, here it all comes. Good. I don't really want to have to use space belts if I can help it. <laughs> it's a bit feels like a bit of a waste of Yeah. Bit of a waste. There we go. Right. That's all of that. And good. So there there we go. That's that's all churning through at a decent rate now, I hope and I hope and I th I'm pretty sure it is interesting that that half belt of glass is oh no it's not quite enough it's enough up to about here damn it um well still oh and I'm f filling that up as well but that's the filling that belt up as well but that's okay once that so once that builds up maybe we'll be all right we shall see how this goes so how are we doing up here now 
yes, we now finally have enough vitalic acid being pumped through here. So we can, and we're st and we're now managing to use the um, get through the air na naquium at about half a belt. <laughs> oh dear, is is Twitch back up again? By the way, Tristan, um, I, 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 it looks like it probably is from here, but the things that should actually tell me aren't really working properly. Nothing's working properly, basically, essentially. So I'm having a bit of a a little bit of a sense of humour failure about the whole thing because it's all rubbish. Okay, thank you. Right, okay. Things are ticking over again up here. So we're getting through, we're processing the Naquium at, a, at what I'm hoping now is a decent rate. Ooh, 100 messages today. Well done, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, most of them are probably compl probably telling me whether my internet was working or not. Okay, so we've got one of the one of the Naquium ships flying out to Tulip. One of them has obviously just gone back and has gone to is is just gone to Norvis, I assume. I assume it's one of the, the five that's in Earth uh, nine that's in anch anchored or in around the planet. I can't really tell, unfortunately. Um so okay, that one's coming out with some more Naquium to process Naquitites to process. And then over here uh Norvis orbit down here. Right. Okay. Now we've got one one sat here. It's unloaded and it's waiting for a uh, waiting for a big spaceship. Um, I could. Oh, and there's another aquifer ship coming in. Excellent. Things seem to be working reasonably well. Oh yes, I was going to put in some better um, better productivity modules. Thank you. That's a good good reminder there. I'd kind of forgotten about that with all of the other things that were breaking. I mean, uh, I was working on. Uh, yeah, let's go and yeah, I was going to yes, I was going to fill these these um, crushers along here up with better um, uh, better productivity modules. Half uh, half half ten. Yes, it probably is about time I start thinking about winding up the stream in the not too distant future. Uh, I'm going to carry on a little bit longer, but yeah, it's, I'm pro pro probably give up on the um, give up on swearing at it sooner or later. Right, let's head back to Norvis Orbit, get those productivity modules. Um, I mean, at the moment, all these machines are full of Tier 3 modules. Um, I've got some Tier 6 modules being made up there, I think. Um, I can technically make Tier 8 modules, but they're so expensive, I'm not going to. At least not yet. Um, but yeah, the, the Tier 8s I could bring down here. Maybe I'll stick them in here, um, and then next time I come out, I can try and try and remember to put to put them in place. In fact, I'll write it on the on the to do list so I have a chance of remembering. Um, T6 prod modules on tulip crushers. Okay. Um. Potentially worth it, yeah. I, I think certainly the certainly to the tier six ones, because they are relatively manageable. They're um only they're only difficult to to, to make. Uh, they're not um they're not eye wateringly difficult. I mean, if we look at the uh, look at let's look at the recipes for just for fun, fun and games. So up to, up to tier one is easy. Just just some circuits, a few more circuits, well, a lot more of them, a few more circuits again, and some batteries. Fine. Then we start to need vulcanite and machine learning data. This isn't mildly annoying because I have to go and get them by hand, but fine, I guess. And biological catalogs. At this point, we're starting to really crack into the research th things that we've got. Um, broad biological catalog, comprehensive biological catalog. At least it doesn't require any sort of more advanced circuits or anything. These. Are... Oh, and then we. Oh, for the, these ones, the tier eight ones, we need to bring in neural gel as well, and all kinds of biological catalogs. And oh, blimey neck. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things in there to the point where I feel like these should probably be made over in the um, um, over in the biologicals area. <laughs> um, and even then, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to have belts full of the catalogs being shipped around, pushed around. Oh, I could make it. Oh no, no, it's the advanced neural gel that's up in the science area. I was going to say I could make them in the science area because that has all of the catalogs around, but. Uh... Um. Uh, what was I saying? 
Sorry. Uh, right, here we are. So, yeah, I think the six up to t tier six is not too bad, but after that it gets really horrible. I mean, you've, you've probably, you've, you'll have all seen this diagram before, if I can find it. Here we go, this one. Um, that just gives you an idea of what goes into making some of the modules. So this is a, um, that's a, that's only a tier five. In a f tier five, four, three, two, one. Uh, no, it's, that's not even tier one. Tier... Oh yeah, so that's what goes, this is what goes into making a tier six module, basically. Um, you've got, uh, in fact, it isn't even that. This is how you make. Yeah, this is this is a tier. F yeah, this is a tier five module that takes the four tier three modules. Each tier four module takes three tier three modules and all of this stuff. <clears throat> Each tier three module takes three tier two modules and all this stuff and so on. So basically, you need all of this stuff to make one tier six module, and it's kind of horrendous. And that's why I try and avoid the really high tier modules. Except for I've I've, I've gone as far as I could more or less with um. With, with the ones that go into the um, into into the labs, but other than that, at least I think I have. I think there might be sixes actually. So maybe I need to go up to sevens now. Um, yeah, so I've got 42 tier six product activity tier sixes. Um, are they going to make it even slower as well? Uh, they probably are. Um, yeah, they're going to knock another. Th okay, so I go from three. Three to six is going to put my productivity up by six percent per module, and my speed down by twenty by another fifteen percent per module. Oh yes, yes, somebody worked that out recently. It was um, yeah, to see how much it would take, and it was it was kind of ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So the labs. Let's have a look. I've got I've got two labs running at the moment, and they're yeah they've they've got the tier sixes in them. You're probably right that it'd be worth upgrading one of them to tier eights. Um, okay, let's do that. Uh, let's try. Let's um, there. Yeah, if I put that there, I can put that there, and it could be both of them. So I want you to make tier sevens and I want you to make tier oh no I can't make tier eights because that's a neural gel and I, I am piping one of the neural gels in over somewhere but it's this one it's the advanced neural gel so I don't even have neural gel around um so what I'll do is I'll make up the um the tier sevens here at least and put them in, uh, put them in a box uh, because that's just that's all dry ingredients um so we'll need, um, oh, it's not even in the logistics network, logistics area. I can swap these over. All right, so I'll get the circuits coming in here. The um, modules I've shoved in there already. So I need the, that's a tier three catalog, isn't it? A tier one, tier two, tier three. Okay, let's go and get some tier three catalogs. And so I put 42 in there. Is it six per, I think it's six per uh, science lab. So that means it's going to need 18. Uh, so this will make it, actually this will make enough for both of them. Whether that's worth doing, I'm not sure. What you know your tier ones. Tier two to no other things. Tier three, I think. Yes. Uh, let's just take a stack of them. What the hell? Right. So yeah, this will make. Let's take half of those modules back out, and we'll save them. I should have got the other things for the earlier tier modules. Um. Here we go. Right, um, bum, 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 bum. you have those, but don't make so many of those. Um, oh no, don't drop them on the floor. They're too expensive to be dropped on the floor. <laughs> um, right, okay, so that's the first one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll keep that. I'll hang on to these ones, and these can go with me off to off to Tulip. Um, 
So I've got I had 24 of them. And tulip I'm going to need. Well, I was going to say I'm going to need 20. But I'm clearly going to need at least another couple of these machines to keep the speed up. That said, it has a certain amount of idle time. So instead, let's just put in, yeah, I'll put in one more of these machines there. Like that. Um, and module, module that up as appropriately. Um, and then, yeah, I've got just enough to do all of those, and then the rest of it will just run at whatever speed it can run at. Uh, and if it does, if it, if it doesn't run flat out, then Selfie. This has nearly finished making the first one of those modules, so um, this is going to be a while. Um, what? Uh, oh, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could, put, I could fill these up with just speed modules and have more power generation. But this place is already using, hmm, I suppose, it's only two thirds of a gigawatt, and most of that's going into here. So it wouldn't matter that much if I severely increase the amount of power these were using. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, I could, I could, I could at least replace some of these with speed modules. Yeah, that's probably a good shout. All right, I'll do. I'll probably do that. But in the meantime, <laughs> we've made one. Yay! The amount, of, yeah, the amount of resources that goes into these things is crazy. Uh, where is this broken down? What have I run out of? Oh, run out! Of, oh, run out of vitamin land extract. Well, I'll go and get some more of that because that's only up here. Um, is it you? Yes, you. No, that's spice. Ah, uh, I've got some spice in my inventory now. Spiced up my inventory, you might say it back come on this has got to go somewhere there's got to be room for this s somewhere somehow because it's ca how can there not be room for me to put it back down again ah oh, blimey neck um anyway it's this one that i wanted a load of and that's in here i think There we go. Right, now this can all run a bit and it can make me a few more of the... I might pick that up actually so it doesn't make me any more... Yeah, it doesn't put any more in here. Because I think that's enough of the tier 7s. Because they are just silly prices. Mm, you make a good point there. Um, as you say, power is cheaper. I can I can point more um, more beam power at that planet if, I, if, I, if, I, if and when I need it. So... Yeah, um, and the speed isn't an issue at the moment. Um, because it is getting through it faster than the spaceships are bringing it in. But, um, yeah, having a bit more in there would probably be a good idea. Two. <laughs> yeah, and the product productivity is kind of valuable. Which is sort of why I've been resisting. The other possibility that we've been talking about is putting in the crushing facilities for the uh, Naquitite out here and where it's being mined up. Because that would mean I'd be able to transport four times as much in the same size spaceship. But then I'd have a massive reduction in the amount of um, productivity in the productivity I could put against it by about 35% or whatever it is now. Um, and that's makes that would make a big difference, the amount of... Um, Nacotite I would get out of this patch in total. So I think I'm probably doing the right idea, but we shall we shall see see how it goes. Um I'm going to go back to Tulip now and put these extra modules in, I think. Uh it's a bit it feels a little bit wasteful to be flying around this much, but it's uh, it's only fuel and I've got a lot of it bounce. I've got a lot of rocket fuel coming from Asalia, so I'm not too bothered about wasting it a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's get let's get those put in, and I can put as, as as you said, I can put in some more speed modules in there as well, and it should still be it should still be absolutely fine. Uh, now, how are things going over here? Have we had some oh, something something's clearly happening because my recycling train is picking up some junk from here, um, but we're still short of naquium here, so that it isn't 
sorted. It's just trickling through. And that said, there's enough for it to be running, but there's not enough to bring another train load over. So, yeah. Go figure. Um... There's, yeah, there's one of those ships coming in here. It's nearly nearly back. Uh, there'll be some... Oh, if I say nearly, it's got this, this far to fly yet. But that'll have a decent a decent chunk of um, Naquium on it. Like 150. Blimey neck. <laughs> um, and I need 400 to even fill a train. I This is making me think maybe I should just start shipping the Naquium around in the in the more... In the in the less... The less efficient... The less productivitable... Productivitable? Way? What's that signal? Oh. Tulip rocket part structures deactivated due to beacon. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know why it says tulip rocket parts. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, well, when I, I'm going, since I'm going back out to tulip, I can fix that then in 40 seconds. Um, yeah, so maybe it's. Maybe it's. Maybe it is worth bringing it over in the. Um, in the slightly processed stage where it's been crushed. Because I would, as I say, I would then be able to bring four times as much. I get Basically, I get four times as much Naquium flowing down here at the expense of only being able to use a few rows of product, uh, not being able to use as many productivity modules against it. Uh, yeah, that'll do. The ones I've just grabbed, of course, are the ones that I would be using, but, you know... <laughs> So that can't go there because it's under both of those productivity mod uh, beacons. So we'll put it there instead. No, no. Yes, yes. There we go. Uh, that. And I want to upgrade all of these to these things. Like that. And then I want to upgrade these with a few more of these. Like so. Okay, so we've now gone up to, instead of, what are these, for, instead of 32% productivity, we've now got 56% productivity. So that, actually, that's, oh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a significant increase. So there's an extra half coming out of this, but compared to the extra four times, so I've gone, I could go from a, Basically, I go from 150% to 400% by cutting out this, by moving this step off into into deep into realm of shadows and deep space, at the expense of you getting through more than four times as much naquium. No, no, a third more naquium rather. Hmm. I don't know. I still don't know whether I think it's worth it or not. I think I might make my 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 might find my decision is made by me going, oh my god, I can't deal with the amount of time it's taking to ship all this stuff through. Um, and it would be f yeah, it wouldn't be too difficult. How much power are we using now, incidentally? Okay, it's gone up to seven hundred and sixty. So we've we've yeah, I as as you said, there's no then might as well just use more power. There's the power is cheap. And once again, this has stripped through all of the, um, absolutely ripped through all of the nacrotite that was wait, waiting to be processed. So it's not, it's not too slow at this point. I am leaning more and more towards the idea of just saying, well, forget it. I'm going to build up. I'm going to just do the get the uh, the nacrium in at a faster rate. And if I have to, if it means I then have to go out and, and mine out more patches, then so what? Um, VCU or however you want to pronounce that is um, saying they use 2 million naquitite ing inglets um, and it's about a 40 to 1 um, naquitite to ingot minus some of the boosts in the processing here admittedly um, so that means so so um I think this is this is this is as productivitized productivized as I'm as I think is sensible to go. Yes, I could, I could remove some of the, some of the machines. I suppose since it's running fast enough, that might make sense. But it's this is still this thing is still running. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so someone said they used about two million um, uh, 
uh, 2 million Naquium ingots. So that means I'm going to need to bring in somewhere in the region of 40 to 80 Naquitites. And out here we've got like 12, 12 million in these in these three patches. So that should keep me going for a decent amount of time, but I would need to find at least as much more. And there's a load more over here. There's a 10 million there, 4 million there, 8 million there. So there's quite a bit of it around. The reason I started over here is because there is also water, which is kind of useful for making sulfuric acid. But I could get a train system set up here. Um, there's nothing here I can use as fuel. I'd have to bring that in, from, get that in from somewhere. Got methane ice. I don't want to have to process methane ice out here. I think I get the tr the I get the spaceship to bring fuel out as well for the, for, the, for it <laughs> or uranium. Um, yeah, so I could get a train system set up and just blast a, tra a railway from here across to here, and then set up the same sort of piping systems as well again over here and bring the aquatite back that's possible um wouldn't be too difficult as long as water ice lasts for long enough yeah i mean i don't need to do that yet i'll i'll do this one with um a long belt and a long pipe um just because well it's not that far away but this one is a silly this 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 area over here this complex over here is a silly distance away that's going to need to be um done with uh, rail i think um, but yeah, space trains are always fun. Uh, and yeah, probably make the um, Naquitite ships wider. So those can be my plans for later. How did I get it to work? I, um, I just installed it and it just worked. So <laughs> um, it wasn't... It, I, 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 I can't really help you with bug fixing, I'm afraid, because I didn't have any bugs. <laughs> um I don't know if I don't think I've got enough. Well, that's 800,000 800, water. That's gonna. I'm gonna get through that quickly if I start making rocket fuel from it. Um, how how much does it use? I know it uses a lot of water. A thousand water. So I could I could make 800 800 rocket fuel out of that. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough. That's gonna keep scare scaring me. Um, Oh, it's gone away anyway. But that that alert is going to keep scaring me because uh, it's. I've got one. That, I've got a mixed train now, and it's alerts every time it picks stuff up, and that's yeah, terrifying. So right, yes, I'm not going to do that today because it is eleven o'clock, and I'm 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 tired, and I'm to be honest, I'm a bit fed up with my internet connection. That said, my internet connection has been worst during the day, and then better overnight from the uh, from the um check checks i have running on it so you know if i just kept playing it probably it probably stay up from now on but i do need to go to bed i've got yeah i got work tomorrow <laughs> um so next time yes i think i've talked myself into saying yes the naquium production is too blooming slow i'm going to put in the crushing in here somewhere uh, maybe i'll just put it in a I've got the belts of Naquium being brought in, Naquitite being brought in here. So maybe I'll just have a, a big column of crushers going up here, feeding it back down into here as the crushed stuff. Um, multiple belts coming back down here. Actually, one into each, probably one into each of these with a, split, with a balancer in there somewhere because I think each crush produces four on the output. So I want yeah, more, more output belts and input belts. Yeah, obviously. Um, then we can feed that all into the spaceships. Um, since I'm going to be redesigning anyway, I'll make the spaceships bigger. Um, twice as wide fit more stuff in them and yeah that's probably going to take me all of next week's stream if i'm being blue brutally honest um and then after that we shall we shall see that will hopefully get the naquium production under control and i'll start producing in a slightly more useful um useful quantities and be able to just start building everything a bit more sensibly Whew. um and then once that's done once that's done and, and, and working nicely, then I'll be able to start on Deep Space Science 2. But that's probably going to be in a fortnight because, you know, it's going to take me most... I suspect it's going to take me a lot of next week to just to get that Naquium processing up and boosted and improved and so forth. Um, looking over here, we still don't have any Naquium. Although, actually, this, this thing down here is still has about the same amount left in it, as far as I can tell. So either this is using it really, really slowly, which it might be, um, or it's just... Um, uh, sorry, words. 
definitely bedtime or um or it's been replenished while i wasn't looking um either way it's sort of kind of ticking over basically all right ish sort of up here we still have oh we've no we've got we've got more naquium up here excellent this is this is this this one is going quite well i need to put in some more of these machines at some point but i don't think there's a great deal of point in doing that until i've sorted out some of the other supply problems that we're having um How much of the uh, data? How much of the science? How far have the science packs backed up so far? Is what I'm trying to say. Not at all. Okay, we've got. Um, oh, ah, crap! That's not programmed properly. You are supposed to. Oh, okay. I've got that the wrong way. It's got this upside down. You're supposed to be doing deep space science one, apparently. So yeah. So there's a um, rather a lot in there. That's not supposed to happen. Possibly, where am I? Am I? No, I'm down on Tulip. Okay, I won't bother with that. I was going to say, I could come over here and just grab like 900 of those and put them back onto the feed, feeding back around from the other end. But alternatively, I could just do a research that takes a thousand of these science packs and that'll, 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 that'll make a big dent in it. It won't actually use up use up all um, 900 of them or a thousand of them because I've got the uh, productivity boosts in there. But it'll do, do, take a decent chunk out of it. So this, is, this one then should be Deep Space Science 2. Let's reconfigure these. Yeah, I think Twitch has probably died as well. Um, my entire stream has died. I don't know why I'm still talking. Oh, and I think we're back again. I'm seeing a, a decent amount of data being transferred, so probably things are now working again as they should. Uh, right, okay. Um, yeah, so I was just t yeah tidying up over here. So I might. I was just thinking I might as well do one of the fairly big... Um, oh, this one's a good one. Increase the learning from each science pack. That's a good one to do first. And it takes, it takes 1,600, though, which is a bit pricey. But I'm going to want to do it at some point, and it's going to get me a plus 5 to um, research productivity. So I might as well do it early on. So we'll get that one running. Oh, and while I'm, while I'm leaving that done... Hey Griffin, I can't stay long either, so I'm going to be uh, going in a minute. Especially as my um, internet has been being terrible all evening, so it's uh, about uh, it's, it's frustrating, put it that way. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Um, right, so I'm going to now nip back over to Norvis Orbit. Hopefully, those um, productivity module module sevens will have finished by now, and I can go over and shove them in the in the uh, in the lab. Um, I've got the I'm doing the bio upgrade intelligence five actually that's probably let's pause that um, until I've got over and put those productivity modules in just to get the m most benefit from it um, so I'll go over and get that uh, sorted sorted out and um, and then I'll do that research um, and I thought I'd do that one first because that gets me a plus five productivity bonus to all researches so it makes sense to do that one first um, just to make everything else cheaper so da, 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 how far have we got a minute to go okay well when, once i get over there i'll um i'll get that done and then i should probably wrap the stream up so um i i hope i hope you've all enjoyed the stream despite the uh, the technical difficulties and once again i do apologize for those unfortunately it's a, it's a bit out of my um a bit out of my control um i'm just sort of doing well having to having to, having to deal with it i'm working on getting it fixed as as, much, as, soon, as soon as i can um, there will be um, obviously there'll be another one of these streams um, next Wednesday evening because I'll be um, trying to get trying to get a bit more done. I'm gonna, as, as I was saying earlier before the uh, before it dropped, I'm going to be trying to get the Naquium process uh, process throughput a bit faster by just um, by being a little bit more wasteful with the uh, with the productivity modules for it. And I think that should should be should be worthwhile. 
Um, then uh, there'll be an there'll be another stream on Monday, which will be uh, Minecraft Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttles. Um, I wasn't in the one on, on Monday this week because I was away on holiday, but I will be there uh, next week. Uh, we've there's with basically we, we've made a bit good start on some building. I've been going off and doing um various types of blood magic and will and soul casting and uh, flower based magic. So I'm being both a good and a, a, a light and a dark wizard, which is um an interesting combination. So yeah, please do come along to that. I hope you'll um all all, all enjoy it. And it's more of I'm I'm working on the sort of the way to do the um way to do sort of the narration and so on to, in order to try and get both. A certain amount of um, talking coming through from the other people I'm playing with, and also, but also, whilst also not trying not to uh, drown myself out uh, when when I'm uh, when I'm trying to talk over them and talk about what I've been doing. So there's a bit of experimentation going on there, and hopefully it'll hopefully it'll work nicely, and hopefully my internet will be better by then. We shall see. Um, also, there's the uh, the video. So the summaries of both of the streams are coming out at the weekend because that seemed like a good way to do it. It gives me time to um, it gives me time to get the uh, the um, uh, what am I trying to say? It gives me time to get the get the videos done, um, whilst also trying to uh, keep everything else sort of running reasonably smoothly on the channel. Uh, let's take these away if I'm not going to be using this lab. Uh, oh, I need to take, pick up those as well. Um, so those those come out the weekend, and there's a um, there's a factor no there's a GTA video that comes out at some point as well. I, I think that's midweek. I think it's it's either, no, it's not going to be Wednesday. I think it might be Thursday. So um, yeah, come along, enjoy that. Um, it's going to be again sort of the uh, um, manhunt chasing me around the city, trying to friends trying to trying to trying to hunt me, hunt me down and kill me. And again, it's a, all good fun, especially when they don't do very well. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope I'll see you see you in, in the future for the, all those streams. Uh, for now, let's see. I um oh, I did the um productivity modules and the tulip crushers, and I'm about to get rid of them as well. So I've got these. Um, I've now got a handful of tier six modules, and I'll go. I'll I'll head. I'll take those over to tulip in the um. In, in the next street or at some point in the in, in the near future and i'll yeah i'll end up putting them in so the next step the next best place to put them is these machines across here because there's fewest of them um so i'll yeah i'll upgrade all of these to tier six modules that's quite a lot of them as well so we'll get that up to um instead of a 40 percent productivity boost it'll be a will it be a 60 percent boost i think with um it'll be that plus 50 another 50 percent no, it'd be about a seventy percent boost, I guess, because we've got plus fifty six there. And we've got another two modules in there, so um, it's another fifty percent on top of fifty six. So 20, 28, 50, 60, 64, about eighty four percent productivity boost through running through that. So that's that's not to be sneezed at. That's pretty good. Um, but that will be for next time. And as I say, bigger ships and more. Just, just generally more and more and more, and hope, hopefully, hopefully things will get work work a bit better. I may find that I need to boost this system as well. We shall see. Although the productivity modules might, be, the speed modules might be enough, but I'm a bit worried about the uh, vitalic acid input for this. Um, yeah, we shall see. Anyway, that's all to come next time. Thank you for watching, and I sincerely hope my internet is better better next time. So thank you for your patience, and I'll see you on Monday for the uh, for the um, uh, what do you call it for the for the Minecraft stream? <laughs> bye bye.